While Onslow and Ezra tended to their wounds, Wake explored the remainder of Yeldon Cave, coming across two more mimics, Roy, a flesh-eating trunk, and Lancey, a key-making ring. The following morning, our crew left the cave and began their travels to the designated meeting point. Upon meeting up with Team 2, they were surprised to discover they had a prisoner, a snake woman named Ziaka. As a gesture of goodwill, Wake gave her an amulet which was stolen from her tribe, and she agreed to cooperate. There was little time for pleasantries, however, as their target was only meters away, a naval camp filled with soldiers. Our heroes knew that they would find the information they were looking for inside. Ezra, clad in a naval disguise, burst into camp, providing a distraction as Wake, Skrung, and Riss slipped in through the shadows. Wake overheard intel on the naval contingent's leader, Admiral Lockwood, as Skrung stumbled upon a bit of treasure. Looting what they could, Wake, Risf, and Skrung snuck back into the woods, leaving behind an explosive surprise. The party fled the scene, split their treasures, and made ready for their report to Captain Mead. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the table. <gasps> We're here. We have a new companion, and we have got some information that we have to give to the governor of Jahalko. Yes, you do. What and, time uh, to be alive. And uh, you left quite the impression on the Navy. What are you talking about? We were never there. It was a curse. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course it was. <laughs> it was the curse. We I slipped can't... in and out undetected. I can't. I, I've been writing about that for like the back of my head. Just like the notes are just like all the crew members. What the fuck happened? It was the curse. What are you idiots talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be interesting when we uh, have to. Because it, it, it sounds like the Navy could have very easily like, you know, been spoken to. Like, what are you uh -oh. doing? It sounds like it sounds very easily like the Navy could have been spoken to. Like, yeah, no, we have some information on this dude. Would you be able to help us out, maybe? <laughs> maybe, maybe help us take this guy down a little bit, like just down a peg. Might might help a uh, might help out a little bit. Nah, I think that bridge is well burned. That's gone. <laughs> that, <laughs> that bridge blew up along with their armory. Yeah, <laughs> and why no is all the gold missing? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It maybe it maybe it was combustive. Part of the curse. <laughs> you see fucking like uh, scrung right down in a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I just, just can't just, wait for just a horse pulling a convertible carriage. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yo. Just can't wait for one of the guys who was trying to tend to my wounds, seeing me walking around in street clothes, just be like, uh, "Hey, not, wait a minute! You're not disguised anymore. It's, it's different. <laughs> you, you took your prosthetic nose off. <laughs> Aren't you? Uh, you seem familiar. Nope. Never <laughs> been near the Navy in my life. Why did you know I was Navy? <laughs> What's well, a Navy? <laughs> Your well, outfit. I, I love the idea now of someone putting like the Squidward stone nose on Ezra's <laughs> face. And he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> ah. All right. So last we left you guys off, yeah, we you were, were, we were walking back to. Uh... Not walking. You were running back. You <laughs> made it all the way over to where Yeldon's cave was. Ah, yes. That's where you guys took the little bit of a break. Right now, the only safest passage you can think of is going uh, back the way you came and heading over towards Piranha Bog. Yep. Uh, real quick, during the break we had at Yeldon Cave, was that like a short rest? Do I get any HP? Oh no, back that from was my punch. All right. That was like, like we yeah, you're getting your HP night. back. Okay. Okay. Uh, during our short break, I am going to see if I can uh, have an aside with Ezra. No offense, Eloy, but. I think with this privileged information, it would be better if it could be kept secret if, if need be. I understand. <laughs> All right. Just as long as we have that mutual understanding. <laughs> Not that I ever spoke to you. <laughs> so, um, how much do you uh, know about your family? Your name side, specifically. Well, I grew up in the Lockwood Estates as a infant, but then my mother lost both the name and title to the place. Uh, to some traveling vagabond. Uh, haven't seen much of him since, and honestly, don't really care to. Haven't really thought about it. All right. I'm going to roll uh, deception real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roll against that with insight. 18. Oh, wait, actually. Wait, wait, roll with advantage, you mean? No, no, not with advantage. Oh, wait, you know what? Yo, yo you have, yeah, you have advantage. Yeah, I, I, have, I, yeah. I know he might be shitting me here. Yeah. Uh, modified 24. 
Uh, let's see. This is intelligence or wisdom? Uh, wisdom is insight. Okay, wisdom. I got a 19, so you got me. Okay, because that, that's weird because I actually heard that there was uh, an Admiral Lockwood in charge of this navy here. Maybe it's completely unrelated. I, I don't remember running into many Lockwoods, but if it's a common name, well, I'll just leave you to percolate on that. Oh. Well, thanks. I, I appreciate the information. Maybe you have an uncle. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, s- sailing's been in our family. I guess it wouldn't be out, out of the, uh, you know, in- entirely crazy for them to have maybe shacked up with the Navy once or twice. Thank- thanks for telling me. Yeah, well, all right. I leave kind of like uneasily <laughs> like, he's clearly hiding something. Yeah. <laughs> also, when when they get back to the group, uh, I will address Wake. Wake, you, you fixed up my flute for me. Uh-huh. And, and and I'm ever so grateful, Wake. And I take off the uh, the plus five HP lock locket. I would like you to have this a, as a token of my my gratitude. <laughs> it, oh, Eloy, it's, don't cry. I can do music again because of you, Wake. You're but, my best thank, friend. Eloy, thank you. You're you're my friend too. <laughs> I, I I just give him like an awkward like fat hug. <laughs> yeah. A, a Voldemort hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I get plus five hit points. Yep. So long as you wear right. it, you have plus five HP to your max. Works. I am a bit of a Just tank. for the last little bit of housekeeping I have, I head over to Red and go, oh, uh, by the way, Red, while we were traveling through Yeldon's cave, I found this ring, and it kind of emits a strange warmth. You seem to know your way about magic things. Hadn't thought about it before, but figured I'd ask, you know anything about it? You she might will. give me a better deal than any sort of appraisal would. Red goes ahead and takes a look at the ring. I'm going to roll for her. Sadly, it is beyond her scope. She looks at the ring. As far as I can tell, it probably, obviously, has something to do with heat. But as to what it exactly does, unfortunately, I think the only way you're going to figure that out is by putting it on. Well, that answers my next question, which was going to be, do you think it's safe to wear? (laughs) Because that's something I've avoided so far, but... You are instantly on fire. <laughs> <laughs> she, even she's looking at it just like... I can't tell what the etchings on this or what is arcanically making this be this warm just by touching it. I would have someone who has way more time and energy to do so <laughs> to look at this properly. I would... She, she is well advised to sit there and just go... Nah, mate, you don't want to put on some dumb magic some ring, ring you found. no one knows what it does. Well, all right. Well, thanks for the... Thanks anyway, Red. I'll, I'll go ahead and put this back in my satchel and save it for a safer time. Pray to God it doesn't set anything on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll wrap a little rag around it. <laughs> That's magic a magic ring is no toy, I say with my skeleton eating ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ow, hey. <laughs> Kevin, do you recognize this ring? Feed it to me. I mean, no. he, he, hey, I fed him Mithril. He said he'd give me all the truths. That is true. <laughs> so does Kevin know what it is? <sighs> Much better. <laughs> yeah, we're buds now. One second. Oh yeah, no, you gave him Mithril. He's like, no, it's fair. <laughs> truth is truth. We're, we're friends. I was. My built- life is an open book. No, I was built this way. This has to happen now. We are best buds. I'm making friends with my mimics. I love that in the Discord, everyone's saying that you're going to make a fucking mimic army, so you pretty much are becoming Yeldon. <laughs> They're your Pokemon team. Look, if I can get a boat that is just a mimic... Oh, just... a mimic boat? Oh, oh, trust me, they found homebrew rules for that. Oh, excellent, good. I can tell it's homebrew because of all the typos. Excellent. <laughs> my living mimic boat. <laughs> more roll. <laughs> Just how well does he know this ring? It's my best friend. That's that's <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yeldon was kind of paranoid when it came to fire. Because, you know, it, he's been known to having a lot of demons chase after him with all the mimic stuff he has. Ah. So this is actually something that he wore all the time. I don't know if it actually worked for him because after he put it on, he was never attacked by demons ever again. But I think it's a resistance ring. Hmm. 
So That's it's fancy. so it should be entirely safe to wear. The old man wore it. <laughs> and he never got attacked by demons again. Maybe uh, it's a demon repellent. Look, yeah. I got a rock. It, def it protects against <laughs> tigers. You want it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, excuse me. I have the scam ability that tells you worthless junk. is Scrolls just sits there and he's like, I got to write that down. <laughs> I don't see any tigers around here. <laughs> it's true. We haven't been attacked by tigers It's true. We ate them all, time. son. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Forget it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ezra puts on the ring. Yeah. You feel your body go up in degrees a little bit. <sighs> Toasty. Beyond that, yeah, you, you just feel like this. You feel like your bloodstream is now a lot toastier than before. Aren't we kind of walking around in like sort of a semi-tropic area? <laughs> that <laughs> probably won't be good for me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll acclimate. Well, it's Unfortunately, you don't know what the results are. <laughs> All you know is, is that you have this overbearing sense of like warmth to you now. Okay, good. I was worried you were going to say overbearing need to keep wearing the ring. I was like, is, is this the one ring? What have we done? There is no one ring in this campaign. I will put okay. you in this ease. Well, it's that we know of. <laughs> it's warmer, but I don't know, it doesn't feel too dangerous. Scrong looks to you and just goes, here, hold on. I got an idea. Picks up a stick, puts it in the campfire, and pokes you with it. <laughs> what happens? What does your AC? say? <laughs> 14. Nothing. You feel nothing. You didn't even feel the stick hit you. And it clearly went into the skin. Oh, okay. I was like, so did my armor plug it? Well, that's new. <laughs> but I don't hate it. <laughs> I grab some of the fire, just kind of put it on the back of his neck so he can't see me. Roll stealth. Okay. And you roll insight. Or uh, perception? Perception, yes. I apologize. Well, 19. Oh, over here. Uh, that is a 23. So I'm doing this without your knowledge. You feel his hand. You don't feel the fire. Okay, stop it. All Get right. Your hand out from no, there. That's fine. It's fine. Stop <laughs> touching me with exactly only your hand. <laughs> you didn't. Stales are creepy. Yeah, you didn't feel the fire at all. Did you get like this dirt on me? What the hell? I saw it. I hold up the fiery hand. I think you're immune to fire. <laughs> or resistant to it at the very least. Yeah. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> yeah, you, you graze his face. The, the flames are touching his hair. They're on there. It's not burning away. That's weird. I mean, I'm used to that, but I live <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Stop it! Eloy crouches over the fire and, and pulls up a handful of hot coals and throws them at you. Look, you're <laughs> immune to fire, too! <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, nah. I'm, I'm just kidding. It was just another Will of the Wisp. <laughs> he just wanted to be in on it, too. Everybody likes having fun. Everybody likes having fun. But he can't keep up the act. <laughs> now Red looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, easy. We know it works on just. She holds fire. her hand out to you. It, uh, yeah. Stress test. Stress test. <laughs> fire. Stress test. <laughs> you, you make a good point, Wake. We won't know what it can do until we try. Put that hand back out there. <laughs> he puts his hand in gingerly. She grabs it. <laughs> As if extending for a simple handshake. No, she did fucking, like, seven fire damage to your hand. Ah! You ah! You okay! Don't, you okay. don't feel it. Oh, no, then never mind. <laughs> but it's there. It's been done. You okay. just can't feel pain. You feel the... <laughs> no, you... But after all this is said and done, you don't feel pain, but you feel your bloodstream get hotter. So do I lose hit points? No. Or no? Okay. It, it, this is the strange thing. It doesn't feel weird, but you just feel the temperature inside you Whew. rise. Whew. It is hot out here. But my hand is fine. The ring's getting redder. That, well, I mean, you are superheating the hand. It's so on. I guess that would make sense. Whew. Ah, yeah, that, didn't, that doesn't hurt. I'm guessing it has a limit, but looks like we haven't reached it yet. <laughs> I pull out its tank <laughs> of oil. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going that far. <laughs> 
we are not going to immolate Ezra. <laughs> I look around for like nearby water. I want to put the ring in. <laughs> Well, there's that puddle there, that there's uh, you that do, pond where you Yeah, you do. We are you are next to a riverbed, so you are nearby by a body of water you can just stick your hand in. I go by and just dip my hand in, assuming it's sizzling and steaming. You feel your body temperature drop back to its normal uh normal temperature. All right. And the ring is no longer red. Guys, I think the ring absorbs heat. I know that's a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> But, no. I, but I think we've solved the mystery. All right. I appreciate all of uh, all of my help, you fellow scientists. We have <laughs> we have made a discovery here today. Seems this ring makes its bearer at least able to withstand a certain amount of heat. All right. So with that, I think we'll rest up for the rest of the night, and then <laughs> sounds good. Yep. Get your HP back. Get all your spells back. You're all good to go. Yeah, I got my key. Yeah. All righty. You get at least eight hours of sleep. Uh, Onslow is of the idea that it probably would not be best if you stayed this close to the coastline. So he decides to usher you all back to uh, Piranha Bog. Makes Waiting sense. for you there is a familiar boat with a familiar party of gator boys. <laughs> well, well, well. Old young Cletus, if it's been a week, it's been a day. I see you can count good, boy. Not really. Good, because I can't at all. Oh, no. Anyway, <laughs> I got what you asked for. Did you? Yeah. And I see you got a piece of it, too. He looks to Ziaka, and she's like, what is he talking about? <laughs> it's a good question. What did I ask you for again? <laughs> you asked me for <laughs> a giant snake. <clears throat> That's it. Plops out a male Molson body. That one of her tribe? Hmm. That's a big person. He's a big boy, all right. <laughs> oh, what? What'd you get, Onslow? You wanted the man maw? Or did you think that this one here, the small one, Ziaka looks like she wants to kill everything <laughs> right now? Oh, did you think this one over here would fill the quota that this boy did? Were you trying to get the money out of me? That's funny. Now, pay up, please. Siaka looks to you. <clears throat> to be fair, this is not the type of snake I asked for. Roll. <laughs> Roll diplomacy to Ziaka. That's charisma, right? Yep. Oh, never mind. Nat 20. All right. Cool. Siaka is just biting the bottom of her lip now, just like, okay, please then, explain. Well, I needed a distraction to go upstream. Oh, yeah, we I did heard... a distraction, all right. See, them boys over at that Navy, that, that ship of theirs, they've been trying to tell us to go away, and we they have waving their guns around. That was cute. So we sent them a log down the river, and it said some not nice things about humies. Tell them, like, to get lost, and we'll kill you and eat your body. Mm. And then we sent him another log that said, yee-haw, and we attacked. <laughs> Sounds about right. I pull uh, five of the... Uh, how, mu how much is each of these bars of gold worth? You don't know. Ah. Uh, which of you might know? Oh. Scrung might know. Scrung <laughs> might know the market value of this gold. What would be the... Market, like, I mean, uh, Scrung kind of, like, grabs you by the arm and just goes, Don't give him a number. We could use that to our advantage, you idiot. No, I get that. I, they, but now we have to give them a number, and they can't count, they just said. I know they can't count. I just want to know how much these fucking things are worth. Uh, these things are each worth... Would insight tell us? <laughs> uh, knowledge. Knowledge? Uh, just a regular intelligence, yeah, intelligence check. check. You would get disadvantage, though, unfortunately. Yeah, he, would, uh, he might know. Yeah, I'll, I'll try 15. with disadvantage, at least. 15? Nope. I'm not going to add anything to this. By the weight of these bars, you can surmise each of these can possibly go for the highest 600. Well, each of these gold bars, they're super dense and super thick. They're each worth a thousand gold pieces apiece. Persuasion. Motherfucker, this thing's great. That's God, a... yeah, well, you know what? Old young Cletus... Gator jaw just opened wide at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, got I could buy arm. me a new arm with that. You really could. Here, and I, you know what? 
above and beyond, I'll give you two whole bars. I know we, I know we commissioned 1,500, but I think 2,000 is fine. You guys did attack the Navy. All right, boys. I give him two. Of we my... can build that moonshine refinery again. I give him. Two... I give him two of my gold bars. Onslow's just like, oh, don't do that. Don't do that, please. <laughs> like he looks like he knows what they're talking about and he's not happy about it. They almost burned down the whole entire forest doing that. Well, luckily it's on wetland. <laughs> That's the thing. Magic fire. Ah, <laughs> uh, magic moonshine. Ooh. Ezra, may I borrow that ring? <laughs> <laughs> Siaka's looking what over for? the body now. She's just like, this man's been gutted from the chest down. Hmm. And it's not like how you've been seeing they've been cut for most of the other victims. This is like someone did a messy fucking job. Like they just cleaved him? And yeah, they... like... She looks over and she's now like, she looks fucking terrified at this. Yeah, I did a good job about that. See, uh, Bubba Duke over here, he threw a knife so good it hit him square in the face, and we just ripped him down from the center. Okay, you can we stop talking now. But it was a really good kill. Will, will you please, will you please, as in I'm rolling persuasion to convince you to please, <laughs> just, just leave her alone? She is grieving, sir, please. Snakes can grieve? <laughs> Which one said that? Cletus. I'm gonna punch him in the face. Oh no! <laughs> Roll the hit. <laughs> Communications have broken down! Uh, that is a 17 to hit. You cold clock him right in the face. All right. Well, my, my persuasion- this is, this is subdue damage. <laughs> That's still eight subdue damage. Knock his jaw clear off. <laughs> Good hit, son. Good hit. <sighs> All right. He doesn't seem phased by that. That's I, I imagine he's been through a lot. <laughs> Ziaka is kind of composing herself, sitting, like, getting up. I don't know if this man, he's not of the... He's... I'm sorry, one quick second here. Let's make sure I get my lore right. <laughs> this one doesn't seem... I apologize. I, again, have just lost all the information I had right here. Do, 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 do. Okay. She, she exclaims, Well, he's not one of the vibrant sun, so it's, I suppose, not a... Massive loss, still, still nerve-wracking nonetheless. Look, I had no idea this is what was going to happen. I didn't even know there were snakes out here, frankly. Neither did I. Well, We're usually forbidden past the temple. And something I, weird is it really would, happening. It would, it would disturb the collective one. I walk over to old young Cletus. Now, Mr. Cletus, we're thrilled at the job you've done. You have been super helpful. We have paid you. I believe our business has concluded. I would like, uh, my, my party and I would appreciate just some time to, to talk over the, the way things have gone down. Sure thing. I appreciate it very much. Oh, by the way, Onslow, I told her about you. You what? I told her about you, seeing as how uh, she wants another rematch. Walks off. Onslow is now just like pale. You see his face turn pale. Today is full of ominous things. <sighs> oh, look at Onslow. What was that about? Son, you know that tiefling girl of yours that you're looking for? Yeah, I, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like that was gonna be our next stop after we report to Mead. I'd like it if you allow me to sit that one out. No worries. Especially, especially now that she's got ear that Cletus decided it was a fun idea to put me back in her perception. No problem. I was thinking about taking this one myself anyway. I say stretching out my shoulder. Red, Skrung, Pliskin, and Risp all look to wake. Skrung's just like, 
Oh, I'm gonna get so rich betting off you. <laughs> I am a shoe in. I will tell you that. A tiefling, huh? I just look at the ring on my hand. <laughs> Might come in handy. <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, get a little bit of rest from Piranha Bug. Onslow feels that you have made perfect uh, timing to get away from the uh, to get away from the Navy's eyes. With all the commotion that's happened, it's more than likely they're not going to chase after you. Uh, and even then, if they did come into the bog, they got everyone else here no, with a home field, with a home team broken. advantage. Yeah. So with that, you uh, you can either go the way that everyone came uh, going towards the temple, or go back around towards the squawking path. Well, I did promise Ziaka that we would go and figure out what was happening at the temple. And if everybody else wanted to go report back to Mead, like, the other way, mm. then we could make our way through the temple first. You want to do that instead? Okay, so... I mean, it, like, Onslow says he wants to sit that one out, and whoever, well, and he wants whoever to wants paid. to come with us to the temple is welcome, but I'm assuming Ziaka's coming. Ziaka would like to come, yes. Yeah. I, I, I sit down and I tell her, like, look, we promised you that we'd figure out what's going on in that temple, and that is on the way back, so we'll be heading back that way first. Red uh, volunteers her time as well to go back with you. Scrung doesn't want to go bet against me. <laughs> oh, no, Scrung wants to go too, but also everyone's kind of worried about the fact that if they don't report back to uh, Mead very soon... They might starting might start thinking that within the time limit that he gave you, you might not be good on your word to ah. get the information to him. All right. Well, I tell everybody else to give like, let me know. <laughs> then they're going to ask that you they take the letter that you found to Mead. All right. I I, ha I hand the uh, notebook letter that I found and I say that I'll have more information when I get back. We're just going to investigate one more clue. All right, Plis uh, Pliskin will take it, and he takes everyone else back to town. All right, so he's taking Onslow. Uh, Onslow, Risp, Scrung? Scrung. No, Scrung's coming with okay. you. Okay, Scrung's coming with us. So Onslow, Risp, and Scrung are going with him. Or er, Onslow, on Risp. Onslow and Risp are going with him. Yeah. The rest of the party's with us. Gotcha. Yep. So you guys have uh, Ziaka and Red with you right now, and Scrung. All right. Well, you guys can lead the way. I have never been. <laughs> Very well. Since uh, Red, uh, Red and Scrung were the last people to, uh, to visit the location, they decided to take point. You, after a couple of hours of walking, you've made it to this very large mountainside with a ziggurat pointing up into the sky. You're not walking up to the ziggurat, you're walking inside the mountainside below it. Okay, I'm guessing this is the place. This is one of the tunnels that lead us out. Now, uh, you might see... Red is now saying this to you. You might see things that might be a little frightening. At first, pay it no heed. All right. Before we go in, I'm going to uh, ask Red and Scrung exactly how this place works. I mean, have you guys seen the fighting pits before? Uh, we passed by it. We didn't actually go inside, though, Scrung says. Are they like, like... I mean, so you didn't watch any of the fights. Have you ever been in a boardwalk? Carnival games, really bad food, the like. People yes. trying to sell you things. No. Hmm. I have for sure. Is this what this is like? Because uh, this might be more fun than I was gearing up for. <laughs> no, you'll be surprised. It's sort of like that. All right. I mean, All the right. company is called the Fine Day Boardwalk Company. Oh, well. The Tabaxis make sure that the place runs very well. Well, in order to make sure that... Uh... Because obviously this tiefling woman has something to do with this. I don't know how the fight pits work. If they're one-on-one, -on -one, I'll go in there and cause a distraction until she decides to show her face. If they aren't one-on-one, -on -one, I'll probably need a couple of people in there with me. But as There's soon, an entry fee. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as we get her attention, that would be the time for somebody to sneak into wherever she's staying and look for clues. That's fair. I don't think that uh, Scrung just looks to you and smiles. Don't worry, getting her attention will not be difficult at all. Oh, I know. I say just sizing <laughs> myself up. <laughs> all right. <sighs> so you guys head inside the cave. 
it gets strangely dark. Like, this is not like, like you watch as the sun disappears in the distance behind you. And then all of a sudden the light goes away. Almost like a door closed behind you, but you're too far away to notice it. Uh, with my dark vision, do I see anything extra? You see, uh, you see like just a pillar, uh, a walkway that just keeps going in. This goes far. You only have like 60 uh, feet of dark vision, so okay. you can still see the path, but there is something walking towards you guys, and it's taking up the entire pathway. Something big's on the way. It's I lumbering towards you. It kind of it. <laughs> it kind of waves back and forth like this. And it's getting bigger with each second it's getting closer. You everyone can now start to hear the footsteps. Timothy, is that you? No response. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it were Timothy, he would have responded. Yeah. I'm gonna pull out a torch just because yeah. I can't see shit. <laughs> 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 My there torch is, a, is the same voice I do. <laughs> what I can describe this as is, well, you know what? I need you to roll me a will save throw for this. Jeez. A will save to describe what I am looking at. Ooh. I have. Ta-da. That's wisdom, I believe, right? Uh, that's 15. Is it just me rolling this one? <laughs> yep. Okay. And it's too terrifying to explain. As your light breaks the darkness, you watch as a giant crimson scaled creature. So big in size, it is actually taking up almost the entire pathway. There is light barely gaining purchase past this form. It has multiple legs. Multiple, it has multiple legs and multiple arms stretched out before you, almost like it's ready for an embrace. Those aren't arms, those are pincers. And you are only getting the front under under scale of like a lighter red, and the darker red peers around it, almost like very form-fitting in this weird amorphous way. There are two little beady black eyes glaring down at you from up top of the, of the ceiling. Red, is this the scary thing you said to pay no mind? We need to uh, get past. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the fine day boardwalk company. Whew. The lights all turn on from <laughs> torchlight. It's a dude in a giant crab outfit. <laughs> oh, I applaud. A good joke. Good, good joke. I say lowering my fists. <laughs> good sir, good sir. As a fellow in the entertainment arts, I have to say I am impressed. Well done. That was not the man. That came from a voice box up top of the man <laughs> who looks like a fucking teenager who just got a really <laughs> shitty job with his face <laughs> peering out. <laughs> my, my good man, quite the showman you are. Thank you for inviting us to your fine boardwalk. That that is freaking great. I want I want to do it. I want me next. Me next. Watch this. Watch this. Easy, easy Eloy. A swarm of willow wisps <laughs> forms up around me, into the shape of a crab outfit. Now I'm in a crab suit too. <laughs> Look at Eloy, me now. For God's sake, that's magic. <laughs> willow wisps, man. They love music. Eloy, oh, they'll do pretty much anything I ask them now. Eloy, your mastery over the willow wisps is something to be inspired by. <laughs> Don't lose your heart, kid. Welcome to the fine day boardwalk. <laughs> Please enjoy all our fun festivities and games. Eloy, or not Eloy, Ezra is psyched. <laughs> if you'd like, you can step. <laughs> He's like, he Trying try, to he tries to shimmy so his way this life. way, but. He's the, the arm is so is touching the torch that he doesn't want to knock it over, so he kind of like turns and faces the wall. Over that way. Thank you, Mr. Crab. A little bit of help on the stage, but the performance. Is there's a there's a there's an inflatable top hat on top of the crab outfit that's kind of folded because the ceiling's too low. <laughs> The staging, yeah, the staging could use a little work. Just a little bit, but I love the, the and you notice that the like, moxie on this kid. The, the the crab is also wearing like a little barbershop quartet outfit. 
time. Please time. find the rest of my fellow friends. Sealy the seal. <laughs> There's a rogues gallery here? Yes. Oh, man. Sealy the seal. Horsey the seahorse. <laughs> Clammy the clam. And me, Pinches, the titular leader of the entire boardwalk crew. So there's four of you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. I know what I'm doing here at this boardwalk. <laughs> I'm so happy I get to do this. Ezra's encounter. mind is just going crazy with thoughts on like future stage shows that he's been wanting to do. <laughs> he's just finding inspiration I and everything. I'm so happy you guys went here finally. After... After weeks of adventuring and danger, he is finally feeling in his element. All right, wait, wake under his breath as like they're walking in. Remember why we're here. First objective is to figure out where that lady stays. Ziaka had her hood up, like ready to strike this thing. She has no idea what the fuck she's looking at right now. I look at her. You and me both. Guys, I'm... it's fun. Let loose for just a second. I know we've got important business, but that's do you doesn't see mean we this can't... sea abomination? Is it not abyssal? Ah, uh, it's a. It's all, it's all, look, I hate to ruin the illusion. It's all big costume. It's just pretend. It's fun. But what if it isn't? It is. <laughs> look at it. Did you see our pimply-faced friend here? He's no th He's no more abyssal I than you or me. I can't breathe in this suit, sir. Please move forward. You're Why doing a fantastic job, Pinchy. <laughs> I keep My keep name's walking. Stan. <laughs> I tip him five gold as we pass. <laughs> I'm going to tell his manager that he's breaking character. <laughs> Don't say that. That's death to an actor. A child would be traumatized. <laughs> One with no sense of humor. <laughs> the thrills, the chills. It's the fine day boardwalk. As you walk down. I I'm right there with you, Ezra. <laughs> As you walk down, you start hearing a cacophony of music play coming t from the other end. It's getting louder and louder as you step forward until finally you enter this the inside of the pyramid. You felt yourselves walking up like a slope until finally you reach the bottom base of the uh, the inside of the ziggurat you were going towards. This place is the entire exterior of this place looks like it's some kind of serpent temple. There are large th there's like large structures dedicated to serpents. There's a giant chandelier made of gold and jewels, but then, and then uh, the, all the staircases look like it's rustic stone, like this thing's been standing for eons of time. Then just completely covered in tapestries of <laughs> buy food, <laughs> eat at Joe's, circus. all the mascots and everything, flags all over the place. There are tents with huh. people trying to show for you to come and play their carnival games. Apart from the fact that you're inside a Legends of the Hidden Temple scene, <laughs> you are, like, in a carnival. This is a fairground. It is now dawning on me that, oh, yeah, this was supposed to be a, like, sanctimonious religious place, and it's covered in all of this. Like, oh, yeah, this might be a little it, much. rough to take if you uh, partook in this religion. Ezra, I'm torn between my love of fun and my fear of gods. <laughs> Welcome to every day. How's the Yaka <laughs> reacting to all of this? You can't tell. She's just taking it all in. She is sto she is stoic at this point. Ziaka, I understand that this is surely disrespecting you and your people. But let's just have a little bit of fun while we look. For she this. holds her hand. She holds her clawed hand up for a second. In some regard, I can understand why this is sacrilege. But the vibrancy of this place. Yes. It's like none I've ever seen before. Oh, we we have an entire world of color to show you, my friend. She is intrigued, <laughs> but not sure if she should take this as it's a form of like slight <laughs> it's a, against her religion. I was say, it's a but huge affront all to her. the colors, the lights, the sounds, everything. This is just hitting her like a train, <laughs> but she's enjoying it. You can see, like, I don't know if I should smile kind of glaze <laughs> in her face. As long as she's in good spirits, that's fine for right now. As long as she doesn't want to burn everybody down, we're good. Don't get it wrong. I still am here to understand what happened to our to our tribute. Oh. I can see they've done 
some modifications to the temple. A few. But there is... There are other rooms that I am praying they didn't actually open. Well, We'll have to find who's in charge here and decide that. We'll get to the bottom of it. In the meantime, you guys look around. Now, does anyone here outside of character know what a tabaxi is? I do not. Nope. Nope. Cat people. Okay. Okay. There's a good chunk of them. Some of them are working the boots. Uh, A lot of other people here, you see a lot of humans. You see a lot of... uh, You see a lot of dwarves, gnomes, and especially a lot of goblins, too. But from most of the workers here, it's nothing but pure tabaxi. Okay. They are all, like, they see you all walk in. New customer! Huzzah! They, like, bring out bells, start (laughs) ringing it. (laughs) Bring them in! Bring them in! Please! I am but a noble common man. (laughs) I don't like this. I feel like I'm a mark. (laughs) Ah, uh, live a little wake. It's fine to to indulge yourself in some Look, fun I, every I, once in a while. I can see that this is fun, but I feel <laughs> uneasy. You see that, boys? He feels uneasy. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel like you're just inviting them to sing a catchy show tune or something to change your mind. You watch as a man in a giant sea out, uh, a seahorse outfit just kind of marches in with an accordion. <laughs> Let's give them a tune! (laughs) The first rule of showmanship is to make sure you get the audience on your side. If we play along, we'll get through this faster, Wink! I pick up my flute and start literally playing along. (laughs) Roll performance with advantage. That would be a 27. Wow. (laughs) You blew their socks off. (laughs) Yeah, that wasn't quite a nat 20, but it was the next best thing. A nat 19. Yep. That team. Well, all right. Well, you got a bunch of people all merrily jigging along with this. <laughs> they are a okay with the same kind of spirit you're giving to this. While this is going on, I'm like looking around to see if I can see this tiefling person that everybody's been referring to. Oh, don't worry. All you had to do is just look to the top of the ceiling. Oh, well, good. There's a. You look towards the ceiling, and there's a giant dome that looks like a coliseum that wraps around the middle of the entire establishment. You can see a banner with the face of a woman on the, uh... You can see the the face of a woman on the banner. Microphone. Yep. And it shows you this. Microphone. Shows you that. That is the face of your strong man. All right. The strong woman. Pretty tiefling. That is... It's a horrifying smile. <laughs> ready it's, to fight. It's like the, the ring girl got a birthday present. <laughs> when I asked Jack to draw this character, I immedi- that's exactly what I said. I'm just like, think the girl from the ring, but on pixie sticks. <laughs> All, right. All right, now I'm looking around for any actual person that looks like that. <laughs> Based on the crowd of all the people in the stalls, none of these people look like this. However, you did kind of usher a rather rotund, very well-dressed human being with two harlequins at his side kind of moseying on over. That's pretty good, son. Welcome to the fine day boardwalk. Thank you so much. I've never had this much fun in my whole life. Ah, well, just make sure you tell him that Mr. Third Day said that you had a good time. Mr. Thuraday, I will surely do so, Thur- sir. Thank you. By looking at this man, he looks like he is completely outclassed in fine outfits in compared to everyone else. Everyone else here looks like they're working. Okay. But they're not angry with him. Like even a couple of the employees are just like, yeah, the boss is here. Like, yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> so this is excuse, a day. Excuse me, Mr. Thuraday. Mr. Thuraday. Ah, are, yes, sir. What are can you I the do proprietor for you? of this fine establishment? Well, for this location alone, we're all over the place, son. Ah. The fine day boardwalk is brought to you. That brings smiles across the entire continent. You hear that? That's for their franchise. Oh, huh? man, this place is brilliant. <laughs> okay. So, quick question uh, about this specific location. We've, we've just, we are just a fine traveling band of adventurers and explorers. We had heard there might be some rustlings of some dangerous cr- creatures living in this local area. Have you had any trouble with that? 
They, they're just like, they look, everyone looks the at each other. Stops. Just yeah, the, 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 the music stops. Son, I have to tell you. Everything's fine. And it, picks up. <laughs> it picks back Terrific. up. Terrific. I roll insight to see if he's lying. <laughs> uh, 19. He was doing you a jape. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> this this man looks like he's a walking circus act. <laughs> okay, so by he was doing me a jape, does that mean I believe him? Or? You believe him. Okay. He 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 clearly Jay did that. I took his trickery and was like, oh, so he's no lying no no. He's teeth. not Got tricking it. you. He was like he was doing that. He was playing along, just like this man knows how to read a room and play with it. Okay. I uh, I looked to him. I say, I hear you have a very strong contender here. Is there any chance we'd be able to get to meet her? Of course, son. Of course, she's actually the main attraction. If you could take her on, you win the entire prize pool that she's gained in. Ooh. The entire prize. Pool. The entire, because no one's been able to beat her. Is that a fact? Of course it is. I believe you. I hired her just for that sake. <laughs> she came in here asking for something to punch. We gave her <laughs> a few punching bags. She kind of blew them up. We gave her uh, one of the strongman tests. She breaks every bell, and by I mean that the puck goes sailing off and breaks a statue. Huh. She eats about, I want to say, five times her weight but doesn't gain a pound. Kind of probably her tiefling strength or something. But I gotta tell you, she brings in the cash like crazy. I believe it. I believe it indeed. Is there any way we might be able to get to meet this person? Like, where do they stay? Persuasion. He points right over to the <laughs> to the center stage. No persuasion. She lives say. in there. She lives in the stage. Yep. Wow. That is... Well, I mean, I guess <laughs> the world's a stage and every man's a player. <laughs> Might as well You're welcome there. to give it a try. We'll make a big spectacle of it, too. You oh, can be I'm the new not, challenger. What? A big spectacle here? <laughs> no! Well, I'll wait. Be, I'll, be, I'll be fair with you, son. A lot of uh, a lot of things around here, kind of low-balling. We're not really making that much cash. She's the real bringer. Ah, I see. Now, <laughs> Mr. Third Day, I, I have to ask due diligence as this young and upcoming fighter's manager. Uh, are there any sort of waivers or, you know... Dangerous things we need to sign off on. How bloody do these fights nah, tend to get? Of course not. She may uh, she may punch you in the face and make your jaw go like two inches to the <laughs> left a little bit. But don't worry, we got the best healers in here. She doesn't kill. Okay. Well, neither Just, do I. She so finds sport in it. That's fine. So long as we are clear on that ground rule, that uh. I mean, there are accidents that occur every once in a great while. But she does not kill on principle. That's the reason I hired her. We don't want her to kill customers. We want her to bring them in. That's good. Corpses are bad for business on everybody's part. So. No one wants to see someone die here. We are no in one. definite agreement there. Your in tender entertainingness, sir. Son, you get a stretch <laughs> for that. I like it. I'm a bit of an aspiring performer myself, and I just really appreciate your trade. Really now? What can you do? Oh, I can put on very... Very uh, slight magic acts, but my main uh, attraction is my ability to in, uh, impersonate and to just what's the word? I'm, improvise. <laughs> <laughs> ah, son, I like you. A bit Come of on, a comedian. give me a try. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to give me a setting first. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna improvise, you like, you know, welcome someone to the fine day boardwalk company. <laughs> My young friend, you are here at the Fine Day Boardwalk, where it is a fine day every day. And we are here to have a blast and have fun and roll performance with a... Roll with advantage. First one was better. Uh, <laughs> 20 Modified 24, and I am just exuberant and excited and inviting you to this place of fun and excitement. I'd buy all the cotton candy from this man, someone <laughs> says in the background. <laughs> Thank you, sir! Everyone's kind of just like, yo, this guy's totally on board with what we do here. <laughs> I love your angle, I love your style, the colors, the excitement. This place is just amazing. It is kind of exactly what I have been formulating in my mind for my own comedy troupe that I've been trying to put together. Comedy troupe? Yeah! We just want to travel, you know, travel around, put on a show. Maybe eventually set up our own, just 
you know, giant stage show that we can have for a base of operations, but primarily I am more interested in bringing the fun to the people. I, I am more interested in taking my show on the road and Mr. showing it Mr. off. Mr. Third Day kind of like looks around you and looks at Scrum. He doesn't look too happy. Well, not everyone in this crew is quite the, uh... He's the straight man. ...comedian yet. Ah, the clown angle. I get it. <laughs> what?! Scrung is just like... He's always in character, Mr. Thurday. It's amazing. You couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> Scrung looks to you. I hope you fucking get your teeth knocked in so hard. I, I put my arm around him, just kind of like lean down. Look, if I can cause a big enough distraction, you can probably rob this place blind, so shut up and do it. <laughs> it's me, Bocce the Clown. <laughs> Bocce! Always botching it up, that's what we call him. Over here's Eloy, the magical music master mastermind. He can put a put a show on with his flute, bring out his uh, will-o'-wisps, and, and just entertain him by the crowd full. Red is off in the corner, making sure that you do not rope her into this. <laughs> she is she is just looking over to one of the establishments. One ale, please. <laughs> and of course, what comedy troupe would be complete without its strong man, Wake? I'm actually not that strong. The toughest, toughest <laughs> nails fish man you ever did see. Ah, son, you're going against a champion. You obviously must be modest. Well, he didn't challenge your champion, so <laughs> modesty is clearly his strong suit. <laughs> you might want to lose that very quickly, kid. Our girl ain't modest. Good uh, no. She, she lives on a stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go. Uh, if that's the case, then we're going to have to give her a little time to prepare. So while you're here, enjoy the festivities. I'll get you in a little bit and take, and take you on over into the Coliseum. All right, that sounds good. I look over to, like, Ziaka now that he's kind of wandered away. So what kind of rooms should we be looking for that they might have, you know, messed something up in? Underneath the temple. Ah, well. Is there a uh, Z Ziaka is looking towards the Colosseum. They probably built it underneath the Colosseum. Well, then, uh, it's probably going to be awkward, but you're going to have to try to get down there while I'm fighting. Hmm. Ziaka is like just looking to herself, just like, how are we gonna get past all of this noise? Red comes back with a nail. <laughs> <coughs> is it over? Yeah, looks like they're getting their champion ready. Good. Maybe that can be your prize instead. What? Looking underneath, uh, getting a tour underneath the Colosseum as your prize. Hmm. Honestly, with how big the prize pool is, I don't want to just walk away from that. But we could see if we can just, you know, have a conversation. Hey, before we fight this champion, give us a give us a tour. Give us the give, let us see the sights. Are we gonna leave that to you then, Mr. I mean, Comedy Troop? I mean, Mr. Thurday does seem to like me, if I do say so myself. Perhaps I can ask. We're gonna have to use that in our favor then. So you're going to have to win. Well, <laughs> not to brag, but I haven't lost yet. Dot, dot, dot. She looks. She looks up to. She looks back up at the picture and looks at her. Neither is she. <laughs> I have no idea. We've never seen this girl before. All we ever heard is that she is undefeated. We don't know. Apart from the fact that we know what she looks like, I don't know what she does. I don't know what her deal is. I don't know if she even uses magic in fights. I mean, I assume she has some kind of infernal blessing, considering she's a tiefling. I've only ever lost in competition twice in my life. Once to one of my older brothers. I get quiet for a moment. And once to my master. Will you be able to take another loss today if need be? Do you want me to take a dive? If you put on a good enough show, that might be in our favor. If you feel like you're losing, maybe it'd be best to perform it out. This whole entire crowd seems like they like a good spectacle. Well, if we can get that way, we can get that way, but I don't intend on losing. Very well. I'm not going to take her lightly. She doesn't look very strong, but... Hang on. See one of, the, one of the little goblins just, like, hover by, just like, Ah, he has a Groucho Marx outfit on. <laughs> ah, here you want to fight Nedra. Nedra, was it? Yes. Terrific, a name. 
You ain't gonna last long, son. She's about nine feet tall, burly as all get out, even though she don't look it. Yeah, by that picture, I wouldn't say she does look that. That's, that's, yeah, that's pretty big. Nine feet tall. Only when in fight she gets burly, you see. Ah. Kind of her little, uh, little coup de gras mode she likes to put on for the fans. Oh. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. <laughs> that's a good question, son. Let me ask myself this. Hmm. Do you think he had, the newcomer has a chance of making sure you can make a quick buck around this? I don't know, me. Maybe I should tell myself something more. What do you think, kid? What are you on about? I say my boys know, uh, might know a weakness or two inside that little defense of hers. Maybe we can shut it off completely for you. For a good price. What's in it for you? Uh, you know... Heading on down to the basement. Wait, that's in it for you? Oh, yes. You want to go to the basement. I hear that the snake people have tribute rooms. He looks to Ziaka, <laughs> and she is, like, ready to kill this boy. I tell him I'm not interested, and he can go away. What was that roll? Oh, that was just that was just me personally. <laughs> oh. Like, I wanted to see if, like, it was worth it to me, but... My moral compass says no. I gave myself a personal role to beat. <laughs> ah, don't be like that, kid. I know what you're looking for. Do you now? I sure do. And why would you know that? You ain't know that much about the Fine Day Boardwalk Company, do you? You don't know who runs it, do you? I do. Do you now? Yeah. And who would that be? It was a pirate lord by the name of Mirth. <laughs> Whatever gave you a cute little idea like that? It's actually a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember where I got that idea from. Pretty sure we were talking to... <sighs> roll the insight. Is, the fact that I, mean, I can I'm... even remember that in my own brain is surprising. <laughs> yeah, roll, roll, I mean, I'm sorry, roll intelligence. We've had a uh, long That is week. an 18. 18? You remember that was on the papers that uh, someone uh, was claiming That's right. Nyth 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 Slot was uh, was the name. Nyth Slot was the name of the people he was talking about. Nyth Slot. Nyth Slot, like I said, Nyth Slot. The lot of people. Lot. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Nyth. Yeah. Sorry to kill you, but Nyth. Uh, sorry Not to do that. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, so you you mentioned that name off to him. So what are you trying to find underneath here? What business is it of yours? You know the captain's name. You told me you know what I was looking for. <laughs> so clearly you already know what I'm looking for. So why don't you tell me what I'm looking for? A good time. No, they, you're you're confused. That's what I'm looking for. I roll a 17 in intimidation and go, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, we are trying to prepare for a battle here. That's great intimidation. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Well, it's just like kind of the, hey, excuse me. You can tell by this guy constantly asking you questions, he's trying to get an answer out of you by you asking questions. He's gotcha. trying to fucking, like, just turn no, this around I, I on you. I figured as much. That's yeah. why I answer questions. Yeah. Questions. We're preparing for a match, so uh, if you could, you know, give give our champion, the, the up-and-coming champion, some time, I'd appreciate it. Ah, uh, of course. How silly of me. I'll be rooting for you, boys. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Fucking just, he kind of just like goes, yeah. <laughs> Mosey's on away. Skrong just looks at that man as he's walking off. Something's wrong here now. I don't like him either, Skrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, not, no, good. not even that. When a goblin comes up to you asking questions, there obviously is something more amidst to this. No. I've just I, never I, seen I've... a goblin with a mustache. <laughs> I've been having I've been having troubles with this place since we got here. Something doesn't feel right. Something's off. I don't know what this Nyth is. Do you, any of you know? He looks over to he looks to Red and he looks to Ziaka. They have no idea. Anyone want to roll a knowledge check on that? Does a seventeen get me anywhere? In passing, you hear that there was a pirate lord who likes to adorn himself in all the coins he's ever swindled out of someone. That rings a bell. All 
know, right? I, I know that there's a pirate lord that's so infatuated with money that he likes to adorn, he likes to adorn himself with stolen coin. Siaka kind of looks left and right. Yeah, I know, right? Who would ever want to do something silly like that? Do you want a coin coat? If we have enough gold, we can she, probably she, figure she, something she, out. She literally is just like, Wake, please don't tempt me. That's actually kind of the reason why I'm on this pilgrimage, to make sure everything's okay here. Ah, well, we're going to make sure that my, things are okay. I my, made a promise. We're sticking to it. My temple sent me because greed has done me no favors in the past that I joined... I joined the Vibrant Sun in an attempt to better myself and not be as greedy. Then they... I'm sorry I enabled you by giving you gold. It's all right. She's, she, she's <laughs> like, gripping her shoulder, just like, it's okay. As long as we get this over with, I can, rep I can report this back to the leader, and maybe the collective one will smile upon us instead of bellow the earth and molten ash. Who is this collective yeah. one you keep talking about? The collective one is what the vibrant sun uh, praises to. Oh, he gives us awesome. earth where there is water. He raises the land in that which there is no land for us to walk upon. He makes sure this island stays afloat amidst a torrent of water. So based on what you can tell from this is that this collective, uh, this collected one. It's a deity of land? Yep, it's a deity that makes sure the island remains an island and not sunken into the water. Sounds like it might be related to your old lady Big Rock Mountain. <laughs> oh boy, I hope not. Old lady Big Rock Mountain, if people were, were having a big old carnival on her mountain, she'd be powerful mad. Would, is the collective one going to be mad about all this? So long as nothing of the tribute is taken away, the collective one likes to adorn himself in that which is tributed to him. It is sunken this into- This sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, wait it a is, minute. It is sunken into the earth. <laughs> what we give is taken into the earth by molten rage, and then is created new earth in its stead. Are we on a volcano? Oh boy. What, <laughs> what kind of tributes do you, do you give to it? To it, it, him, I don't want to say the wrong thing. They? Them, 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 they? <laughs> the collective one. The collective one takes minerals of the earth that are luxurious, grandiose, Beautiful. What? Scrung is just like, Wait, are you telling me you take gold and other valuable things and throw them into a fucking volcano? Wake, this is sounding more and more like a scam the more she talks. Why would she scam us by throwing gold no, into the No, not for her. Oh. I think she's being scammed. I'm, I am whispering this to Wake. <laughs> what part of her would be scammed by throwing away gold into a volcano? Like, do you think there are fire elementals living down there? Just like, haha, we have your gold now. It just seems really suspicious that we're looking for someone who loves to adorn himself in gold, and she also worships something that adorns itself in precious metals. So when you're they just throw assuming it. that this guy happens to live in a volcano. You never know. It's true. Also, it seems. I'm gonna roll perception. <laughs> to we're see we're, we're see looking back up high. <laughs> Siaka is oblivious to this. Okay. She's too busy fighting off Scrung's, like, <laughs> oppressiveness to her, her beliefs. If it became a thing, I also had 22 stealth. <laughs> I also don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we could always also just start talking elven at each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So we're, we've learned about this collective one now. All right, well, we're going to make sure that nothing but is there disturbed is some, the collective you, one. You do remember that in the notes that whoever this guy is tried to get underneath the temple as well, this Vic person. Yeah. Which means he would have had to have go, gone through the arena. Or snuck his way in. Yeah, why didn't we do that? <laughs> <laughs> because the fun carnival! Fair enough. Well, now, unfortunately, it seems that Knight's uh, little band of pirates might be onto you trying to get underneath. Yeah, so it would <laughs> seem. Well, now what do we do? Well, right now I'm waiting to be called in for a fight, but uh, what, el what, el what is around us? All righty, everyone. I roll a nat 20 in perception. Yep, Ooh. roll perception. He sees things. Uh, 22. I love working the crowd. Eight. <laughs> Eight. 
Okay. I don't see shit. No, I'm, I'm don't worry. Me. Don't worry. So what'd you get? Uh, modified 22. 22, and you got in that 20? Yes. All right. So let's go down the list. You don't see a lot of things that pique your interest. However, you do get someone kind of screaming at you, just like, You! You look like you got a mean arm. One of the, uh... Tabaxi, a long fur tabaxi is kind of like ushering over you like, you gotta look like you got a strong arm. What if you take this sack and throw down all these bottles? We'll give you a prize. How much to play? Eh, silver coin. I flip, I, I flick a silver coin his way. All right, right on. So you picked up a hefty sack. It's filled with rocks. This thing looks like it will, br when you feel this thing, Throwing it at these bottles will break these bottles. All right. These bottles look flimsy. There's like eight stacked up on top of each other in a pyramid-like fashion. Okay. Would it be perception or insight to see if there's any sort of trick to this game? Uh, did you want to join him? That will, I, be, not, that will, that will I, be your nat 20. I, well, I wasn't going to play along with him, but I was just like, as, as he is playing, I want to scope out the game and see if there's some sort of trick or scam to it. I will roll you perception with disadvantage because you're yeah. not actually at the booth. Sure. And that 20. 10. So 14. From what you can tell, it just looks like a straight up game. It's a legitimate you, you, game. You, but the only way you're able to see that like there are rocks in it is the heft that comes with uh, with uh, Wake picking it up. Okay. So the game looks legitimate from the outside. At the yes. Place. All right. What do you want me to roll to hit for this stuff? I want you to roll me a uh, dexterity. Dexterity. That's remarkable luck tonight. Yeah. Nat 20. Nat 20. Well, your aim strikes true. <laughs> Can I roll damage on the bag of rocks that I just hucked? No, you don't roll damage. I'm just going to roll something real quick. <laughs> so you got a nat 20. They stay up. They stay up. No, they don't stay up. Trick. You actually knocked the middle of them out, but the outer rim of the pyramid still stands. <laughs> I knew there was a trick to this. With a nat 20. You did wow, not. This is the biggest scam <laughs> ever. No, the the fellow on the side, the Zabaxi's just like, that's amazing. <laughs> Why did the? Oh! <laughs> no, son, you get three tries. Oh. <laughs> I give it another not shot. I'm aiming for one of the lower corners. All right. Uh, this one's not quite as good. Seventeen. Nat one, you take out everything except for one bottle still standing. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I aim at that last bottle. You dare make me throw thrice. Uh, that's I need a... you to roll me real quick. I need you to roll me investigation on the bag. All right, I'm going to investigate this bag then. Another nat twenty. Jeez, what is with this dice today? You feel the you feel the bag dissipating, almost as if like the heft that was in the rocks are going away. Is it a bunch of dirt clots? The hell, something's wrong with this bag. Can I get a fresh one? Oh, don't you know? He opens up the bag, and it's like, like there's little blue marbles inside of it, and then on the inside, like there's little blue marbles, and then. A full bag of just like this blue dust. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. It's fake glass, son. Every time you throw it, it breaks. It reforms with time. That's why you only have three chances. All right. Well, I take aim at that last. With, with this new knowledge that I have, I take aim at that last bottle. All right. That one's not quite as good. That's a uh, uh, 14. Oh, fuck. Rolled the nat 20. <laughs> so that bottle outrolled me. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 felt, you felt the glass inside, like that giant little orb that was left, the only two ones left. You feel it in your hand turn to sand, and it gets soft. The bag is whiffed across, hits the bottle, but flops over on its side. It's okay, son. You actually got... I'm... Fairly shocked you got that many bottles down with those many throws. He kind of, like, goes over to the side and hands you a small bag. I look inside. What is in this small bag? Three of those marbles. Hmm. 
three fey glass marbles. Yep. We sell these by the dozen. Yeah. You can try again if you want more. You almost had a chance for the grand prize. Fine. <laughs> Ding. I throw him another silver. Throw him another one? All right. Go for it. Three tries. Stupid goddamn game. Uh, that is a 22. You knock down four out of the eight. Okay. The bag is now lighter. All right. Uh, this is now 23. <laughs> the bag is now lighter, but you only have two bottles left standing. Okay, uh, real go quick. Go over the spare. Oh, before he rolls, would it be sleight of hand if I tried to assist him but not be caught doing it? How would you assist me? How would, yeah, explain this. I have ball bearings, and I want to just chuck, like, at the same time he throws to try <laughs> to go inside. Explain how you do this. <laughs> when he is throwing the bag, I am behind him, and I flick one, like... As he is throwing. Roll me a sleight of hand. All right. Uh, da, 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 19. All right. My last throw. He doesn't notice. You can <laughs> throw it. My last throw is a 24. Mine is a, is this a dex or a... Dex. Okay. Uh, mine is a 17. All the bottles have been tinked over. <laughs> 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 I realized I've had this high sleight of hand stat, and I never use it for anything. So like, I should, Mostly for pickpocketing. Yeah. And I should try no, and but force, that's good <laughs> force because where I can. Now he goes, all right, son, that was really good. Congratulations. What's Here, the grand prize? The grand prize? What's your favorite of the troop? Eloy, which of these creatures is your favorite? I like Seely the Seal. <laughs> Good, Seely the Seal. Good taste. He gives you a fey glass statue of Seely the Seal. Well, look at that. Here you go, Eloy. <laughs> oh, thank you, you, get, so you much. You got a Seely. I love you, Seely. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> it talks. Hooray. No, Seely's actually right there. <laughs> I love you, too. I was, Seely. I was just waiting. What's the grand prize? Another game. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. A free extra throw. However, you do now have a statue that if you break it, it just reforms within a few minutes. I guess I should update my bag to have 999 ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we are on you getting the nat 20. All right. What do I see? All right, so you notice that there is a, uh, there is a stand where they are selling hermit crabs. Rockin'. I head on over. You walk over, there's the small cave, there's like the giant large funnel of hermit crabs where they're all scuttling around. And then you notice that there's more than just hermit crabs in here. There are now, like, they're, like the, for the size and crabs are went from small to large, but they're still hermit crabs nonetheless. And when I mean large, I mean like there's a coconut crab size hermit crab in here. Uh, does the big fella have a name? <laughs> the big fella- does the big fella have a name? <laughs> you say that as a small little goblin female kind of just like peers over the side. Does he have a name? We don't know. We call him Chompy because he eats all the other small ones. Oh, but that's okay because we have many of other things to s for sale in the pet shop. I'm oh. licking my lips because crab is one of my favorite foods. <laughs> I want to investigate Chompy real quick. You want to investigate Chompy? All yes. right, roll investigate on Chompy. My investigation is not great. And my roll was terrible. Four. That's a crab, all right. <laughs> That's a crab, all right, but you get a small peek inside his shell, and there is something shiny and crusted in the middle of that shell. Is Chompy for sale? Yeah, Chompy's for sale. But he's a quite a hefty price. We kind of, uh, he's kind of our breeding crab. Mm. The buck it, of the gang, huh? It'd be a real, uh, it'd be kind of a shame if we had to get rid of him. But, I mean, if you have a fair price, will you be willing to part ways with him? How much per pound? <laughs> uh, Easy, Wake. Sorry, sorry. My friend here has a, has a taste for crabs and... Chompy would make a fine meal, but it would be a shame to put a breeding crab out you of its misery for that. You want to eat pets? She looks like so distraught about that. 
She 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 just looks at you like with a like a like a, just a look of abject horror, like a child would if you like. <laughs> If you kicked a puppy, that's what a child would look like at, at you. Look, I'm sorry. I just I just parted ways with a guy that eats pretty much everything. So, all right. Uh, so you want a fair price for for your prize uh, breeding crab? Is that correct? We do, but at the same time, we have plenty of other things in the back. If you watch as there's like giant cages in the back. They are selling companion animals. There's a komodo dragon going back and forth in one of the cages. Okay. I'm real curious. Uh, do you guys have any interest in birds? Birds? Yes. Like, do you, do you sell? Do you sell or trade birds? I don't see why not. I mean, we do have a couple from that forest over on the other side. Well, I see that you, you you're asking for a fair price for Chompy. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop you right now. I'm I'm interested in Chompy primarily. I have here, and I pull from my bag a small bell. I am going to <laughs> use uh, my ability of uh, scam, convincing people worthless junk is worth lots of money. I have this bell, you see, and it is like birds love it. You ring this thing, bell birds birds will come from miles. Typically, big, exotic, very pretty birds, and they'll be as tame as a house cat. I'm waiting for you to ring this, roll a gnat one, and those <laughs> birds on the inside just go. Wah! Wah! <laughs> she she like holds her finger up and she like kind of waddles into the back. <laughs> She comes back with a green bird. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see it. Come so on. So this is an animal handle <laughs> test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roll handle animal. All right. I got plus two on that. Oh. Uh, modified 21 as I jingle the bell. Yeah, the bird kind of just like, like pecks at it a little bit with his beak and then latches onto your arm and tries to, like, dangle it a little bit more. He's playing with it. See, look, they love it. They can't get enough of this bell. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all. That's amazing. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm not sure it's enough to completely give you the crab for it, but I will put a discount on it if you throw that in. All right. What were you thinking? 2500 2500 you say? That's a lot. That's quite a bit for just a big old crab. My original price was going to be five grand. That's quite a lot for a big crab. He's a very he's he's a very big crab. I thought you said he was eating other crabs. That seems like it would be bad for business. I mean, he breeds more with that size. <sighs> we have other crabs. I mean, I could show you the other crab if you want. Oh, Chompy just seems really interesting. Chompy's just sitting there looking at you. <laughs> it like bl one eye blinks, the other eye blinks. Could 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 I hold him? Could I just have him in my hand for a second? Get Can a closer you hold look. Him? May He's I? He's a coconut crab. He's as big as you. <laughs> I mean, may I, may I take yeah. a look at him? <laughs> I mean, sure you can try. She like opens up the cage and she somehow <laughs> hoists this giant crab in her arms and hands it to you. I Roll mean, athletics check. <laughs> Oh, good lord. I get a nine. <laughs> get no, you topple over with this thing on top of you. <laughs> okay. Does this give me ample opportunity to take a closer look at what was shining, though? One quick second after he takes a pinch at you. Oh, no. <laughs> take four points of damage as he, like, snips the <laughs> side of your neck. <laughs> oh, man. Four damage, you say? Yep. I look, I look at the crab, I say, stop, and the aqua. <laughs> I'm going to roll animal, ha animal, 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 yep. <laughs> animal, animal. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, duh, duh, where's my handle animal? Uh, that is a 17. It actually stops on your command. Ah. And I let go. Now I investigate, or perception, whatever. Roll investigate. Nah, uh, not much better. I'm just sitting here going, wasn't it? Let me put him in. 13. <laughs> 13? Uh, bits and pieces of this uh, crab shell is made of a strange metallic material that you have no idea, like, you've ever seen it before. Ziaka actually takes a peek at it. This is material from the temple. <laughs> All right, okay, you can take Chompy back. You can take Chompy back, it's fine. <laughs> I tell him to crawl back into his cage, <laughs> or into his tank. He's about to, 
Then he grabs the bird and goes in. <laughs> oh, okay. He was hungry. He was hungry. Uh, she, I, she, the, the, little, the, the little goblin takes a broom. No, no, no! <laughs> he takes the bird back. Okay. Uh, Where so, did you find Chompy? Oh, we, uh... He actually f- was found on shore when the Abyssal were coming into town. So he was fleeing mm. them. Yes. Hmm. Well, ma'am, Chompy seems like quite the handful. I appreciate the big discount you were going to give for my magic bell here, uh, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass. Thank you oh, very much. That's unfortunate. Are there any other animals you'd like to buy? Uh, no, Chompy was kind of the one I mainly had my eye on, but thank you anyway. This seems like a, a fine establishment. Oh, well, thank you. Guys, she slide, is. slide the bell back in my bag. Yep. So, uh, do you mind if I actually look at your sheet real quick? Mine? Yeah. Sure. I just wanted to take a look at Scam real quick. Give it to people as well as worth as the money. Okay. Like it, it doesn't exactly specifically convince them it is worth, like or it has like properties. But yeah. I feel like convincing them it is worth something. No, I of can, course. I can it just it requires that. Yeah. I just wanted to see I can if it embellish was like, the story. I just wanted to double check if it was like get an advantage roll or something because mm-hmm. I'm gonna say if you have that, yeah, advantage. Because yep. yeah, like the with the way it is, just convincing people worthless junk is worth their money. I don't. I might have not written it all the way down. There might have been some added thing to it. I can look that up later. You. Yes. Eloy. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying there's musical instruments, but there's an <laughs> entire concession stand filled to the brim with instruments you've never seen before. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What are all these? I saw that. I, I saw that squeezy box. I'd never seen one of those before. That's, that's a new one on me. One of the a tiny tabacks in, like... Tabaxi kind of like waddles on up to you. Ah, you like the accordion, do you, kid? I, I don't know, may I, may I try? Sure thing. Here, give it a spin. He gives you like a little circular one where <laughs> uh, the the entire uh, side of it actually looks like the head of a satyr. Ooh, oh. This is neat. I, I, I try and just like, based on what I observed the guy doing before, try and suss out how to Roll operate it. Roll me performance with disadvantage since this is a new item to you. All right. Let's see. Well, that's probably going to be it. Yep. Yeah. So let's see. That's still a 13. A 13. It still takes uh. you. A, it takes you a little bit of time to get past the fact that this thing just honked at you and you're still trying to wrap your head around the idea of playing it, but... You manage to suss out a little bit of a tune that it's actually serviceable. However, what you didn't notice is that it also gave you a plus two to performance. Ooh. So that was a 15. Ooh. That is, boy, that's, that's real different than anything I know, but that, that's going to take some practice. But, boy, that sure is neat. Uh, what do you play, son? I can play the flute. I got, I got my bongos right here. That's, that's from back home ways, and I learned a little bit of piano. Well, we got a couple of trick uh, instruments if you'd like to have something of that uh, type of yours. Ooh, what, what what kind of tricks can an instrument play? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just worrying you're going to give him bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You fucking read me. I was about to fucking I, fucking God damn it. <laughs> I was just like, God damn it, Lanny. Why did you say that? Because I'm... <laughs> I read situations. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> he actually leads you over to a giant, like, water sack that you have no idea. <laughs> and, like, five other pipes sticking out of it. <laughs> now, son, have you ever heard of these? Boy, that looks like like about four or five flutes all stuck into one big, I don't even know. <laughs> well, that's neat. How, did you just play five <laughs> flutes at once? That's amazing. Son, I like you. Here, why don't you give it a whirl? Roll performance. <laughs> With disadvantage. Disadvantage again? All right. That's uh, flute like. <laughs> uh, let's see. That would be a 14. No, you still find it serviceable. You feel that, like, like this is making your, your music pop out a lot more. <laughs> like, like, louder than usual, as in, like, you feel this thing it has, like, an echo chamber inside of it pushing the sound out. You guys can hear it off in the distance. Uh, this is amazing. Yeah, I want to learn how to play this. What Do you is have that noise? I don't know how long we're gonna be staying around here. I don't know if I'll have a lot of time to take lessons. Do you have like a like an instruction manual or a or a or a? Not really, son. But what I can tell you is what it does. Ever heard of thaumaturgy? Thaumaturgy. Oh boy, somebody said the, that word at me, 
And boy, I'm just blanking on what it means. It means it makes this sound louder, kid. <laughs> louder. You can get this across to all kinds of people. Like that person, like like Steven all the way in the back at the fucking cotton candy booth. He can hear this from eons away. Cotton candy. That I like every part of that. <laughs> I like I like letting more people hear my music. I like cotton candy, and I never met Steven, but I bet I love him too. <laughs> so what he's selling to you is a thaumaturgy bagpipe. <laughs> how much? How much? How much? I will grant you this: is that it also has the ability to allow you to use one concentration spell at will. Ooh, jeez, this is a unfortunately good bagpipe. it is a pretty penny. He does state that it is 5,000 gold. Boy. I mean, that's I mean, real you, good. You, you do have that in gold bars. I got... <laughs> yeah, he just holds 10 gold bars. I got... Will this get it? I got... <laughs> now, I, I, I hear tell one of these gold bars is worth 1,000. I could give you five of those. <laughs> He believes it, so this isn't deception. Yep. <laughs> no, the, the fact that he has belief in that, <laughs> you get to roll with advantage on for on persuasion. Ooh. Oh well, never mind. I rolled in that one. He full heartedly <laughs> believes you. <laughs> this is the day of good rolls for us. Yeah. <laughs> he is just like. Of course, it happens <gasps> when we don't have an actual conflict. No, don't worry. When I get in that ring, I'm gonna be rolling ones. <laughs> I will grant you this bagpipe. Should you allow me to partake in four of those? Mister, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Here you are. You now have a daily spell that allows your concentration spells to be at wills for one fight. So that, so normally you can only concentrate on one spell at a time. Is this letting me concentrate on two at a time? Two at a time. Ooh, that's wow. real good. Now, for one for one day. One thing I never really asked about these bars, are they marked in any way, shape, or form? <laughs> no, <laughs> they're just straight gold wow. bars. They're not marked. The world government needs to learn how to work. <laughs> the friggin' Navy there is to travel oh, without okay, unmarked okay. bills. <laughs> there are things at there are things at play here. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I'm glad you had that perceptive eye to see that, but there are things at play for that. And Mr. Lockwood might have something to do with the fact that there's unmarked bars of gold. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Your father was a great swindler, son. <laughs> he was an average fucker. <laughs> but a, a brilliant, brilliant swindler. swindler. <laughs> Turns out this gold is actually worthless. We've all been tricked by my dad's hand-me-down But we've got prank. money from it. We, we got literal yeah, goods yeah. and services. We're managing it. to scam people with his scam that he scammed the Navy with years ago. So much scamming. <laughs> Scamception. Hey, your dad might be a pirate. <laughs> guys, know. guys, look what I got. Look what I got. Hey, Steven, listen to this. I play the bagpipes to him. <laughs> Oh, oh God! <laughs> Did you roll a nat twenty. That is a nat one. <laughs> ah! Sorry, sorry. I'm not too good yet. I need, I need a whole oh, lot. Oh my ears! I need a whole lot of practice, and you guys are gonna get to hear all of it. Everyone's, Yay. everyone's deaf right now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> They're scrung. What? Scrung. <laughs> No! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. yeah. Tendonitis. Yep, so you pretty much got the best entire thing out of this. <laughs> is that I was just like, I hope you get enough for this because I had a magic shop ready for you. Uh, um, I'm sorry, a magic musical instrument shop ready. <laughs> All right, so Mr. Thuraday. Takes his uh takes himself over and grabs you to the side. Oh. Son, you ready? What? <laughs> Sorry, S hearing's coming back. Son, are you ready? I don't need to yell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to take a break right here to use the restroom. Do it. So, uh, Mr. Thuraday gathers every one of you. Brings you all uh, over to like a small little waiting room while he, his uh, Harlequins actually go off to uh, gather everyone from the inside the temple 
to all usher themselves into the stands up at the top. It's kind of like, you know, like in a uh, theater, like the operating tables where like the theater is like a bunch of people watching you from above. It's sort of like that. Okay. okay. So Mr. Third Day has brought you into that room right there in front of you. Yep. I'm in the waiting room. Yep. Oh. Uh, is there anything to, like snack on in here or is like a, Oh yeah, no. What, this what, place, what is there to do This in place here? is snazzed up. It's like they got weapons off on the side in case you ever wanted to bring one. Mm. Uh, like a whole rack of like at least one of every serviceable weapon. They got serviceable shields. Uh, they have a side table over here that lots of food, lots of drink, lots of lots of wine. All like everything's ready for someone who really loves battle could just gorge on anything here. I'm gonna eat a couple of. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing there are like some fruits there. I'm just gonna have a few of them. You're gonna have a few fruits. Roll yeah. me con. Ooh, constitution on these fruits. <laughs> Real bad. That is a. Uh, oh wait, constitution is plus two, so that is a seventeen. One second. <laughs> You are shitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now you know the difference between good and evil. <laughs> no, what's fun is uh, you take a nice hearty chunk out of one of the pieces of fruit you've never seen before. Mm. It tastes really hearty. You feel like there's a thick skin to it, and then when you reach inside the fruit, it's absolutely savory. Mm. For the first four rounds, gain a plus two to con. Ooh. Not sure what Mr. That's Third Day gonna... smiles at this. I treat our members well, you see. I'd like to make sure they have a sporting chance and also a routing good fun at this. Right, I'm not sure what good an additional con's going to do me in this fight, but we'll see. We got this. Yeah, well, Wait, plus two to con. Maybe. Like, does that give me temporary hit points? Yeah, it does. How much is it? It's uh, plus two per level. Yeah. Like now, okay. So that's an additional eight. Excellent. For the first four rounds, you have this temporary HP. All right, I'll keep that in mind. But now that kind of comes to question is, why does Mr. Third Day have magic fruit? <laughs> mm -hmm. Clearly he has the tree of might. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would jump for that. <laughs> well, happy Frieza Day to us all. Turles Thuraday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to look into this later. This might have something to do with you've the never seen these smart. fruits before. Like you've been on land only for so long. You've been on land. You've seen. I've been on land. I've lived in a village for a majority of my life. But yeah, I've never seen. You've this. never seen fruit like this before. This I've been, is I've like been to strange. A few, I've been to a few small villages between here and wherever I got on the uh, ferry to Jahal Cove. From what it looks like, the one you just took a bite out of, it looks like a mixture between a, a kiwi and a like a really really like cartoonishly thick cactus. Hmm. Um, no. Are, are we in here uh, with him? I was going to say. No, yeah, you were okay. ushered into the audience. Okay, okay we're, we're in the stands? All right. You uh, are at the betting hall oh, right good. now. Uh, everybody can make your bets now. Yep. I'm guessing Skrung is having his way there. Oh, yeah. Skrung put down 500 on you losing. Of course he did. I'm going to make him eat those coins. <laughs> and by that, I mean I'm not going to let him have them. I'll, I'll see if somebody will, will take one of my bars of, of gold. As, <laughs> it's worth a thousand. <laughs> yeah, as as a thousand in favor of him winning. You walk up to the betting table. Hello, sir. Who do you place your bet on? I'll put I'll put this clunk. I'll put <laughs> I'll put this on the fish man. He's my friend. He's real good at punching. I love how we do sound effects in our characters' voices. Well. <laughs> <laughs> clunk. Whoosh. He like takes the bar of gold and looks at it. Huh. <laughs> it's worth a thousand. I'm gonna have to see my manager. That's gold. Holy shit. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> we'll accept that. So you got a thousand gold bet on. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Oh, hi. I'm Eloy. Eloy. He, like, looks you over. Okay, we'll remember that. Thanks. Does he hand you a receipt or anything like a betting? He tab? hands you a small. T he, he like punches down a little bit and hands you a small t uh, ticket. Okay. Ezra is not currently interested in gambling, but he is looking for the concession stand. <laughs> oh. And I roll a uh, twelve in perception. Or yeah, you find a concession stand. They got like a little bit of. Uh, they got a little bit of everything. They got corn dogs. They got uh, turkey legs. 
They got uh, they got bits and pieces. Like they have a, a whole entire like giant trout on a stick for pieces to grab at. How much for the turkey leg, fine vendor? That'll be eight silver. I'll take it. Cause when you look at this thing, it's like as big as his arm. <laughs> Sounds we delicious. Got, we Thank got the, you. we got these from the Squawker Path. <laughs> then I'm really going ooh, to. Oh, I want this. one too. I want one too. <laughs> I hate those birds so much. Yeah. <laughs> those damn rats with wings. <laughs> oh, I mean, we got that. Holds up a small bowl of soup. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Not not those rats with wings. These ones. <laughs> What's She's your secret everywhere. ingredient? <laughs> it's like I can hear her. Grammy is everywhere. No matter where you go. God, ain't that it's, the truth. It's her essence in my small vial of cat's grace that I still have. <laughs> what if Grammy is actually a god? Oh, we no. haven't even discussed this, but... <laughs> Grammy Eddie. You have just opened the fucking floodgates <laughs> on the Discord right now. Good. I hope you Good. realize this. She keeps showing up! I can't stop it! Oh, half the stuff Keep I do is just to open those things. floodgates. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you find uh, eight gold for a giant turkey leg. Eight silver, please. Eight silver, I apologize. Silver. <laughs> like, Whoa, hold on. This yeah, no, is no, some no, real no. good turkey. No, no, it's it's silver pieces. You uh, you can buy ale. You can buy, like, other sorts of, like, concession stands. Like, there yeah, are no. there are sugary sweet stuff. There is I, rock I will candy. also buy an ale. An ale? All right, cool. So that'll get you ten. So for ten silver, you've bought an ale and a turkey leg. Okay. All I'm right. going to drink and watch this fight and have no money riding on it because... Ezra, to be honest, is not quite sure how this is going to go and doesn't want to, as much as he likes Wake, he is not going to put a ton of confidence in him. I'm going to assume you bet, I'm going to assume you bet the farm. Exactly. Like, he's not going to say anything to you, but. All right. All right. So, I, uh, Wake is just in there, like, meditating. He's never participated in a kumite, so <laughs> he's, uh, like, tightened his gi, like, everything's on good. Mr. Thurday once again steps in real quick just to make sure that you realize that this is not a death battle, son. I know. You are here for the sport of fighting. You are a pugilist at best. Yep. I, I, I've... For, for the sake of everything, I even left my spear with Eli. I was, I was going to say, do we even know weapons ah, are allowed? So you leave your gear with them. I left my spear with Eloy. Okay. And anything that I needed to, like... Oh, Mr. Thurday collected all your yeah, belongings. Okay. And there, it's, it's going to be in that room. Yeah, I don't need my spear. Very good, son. Very good. All right, son. Well, you hang tight. We'll be right with you. All right. I go back to meditating. Just the gates open. I open my eyes and stand up and step out into the arena. You open to a shining light of the entire crowd, just like gazing at you and shouting in joy. You can do it, Wake. I believe in you. I'm filled with confidence <laughs> and bardic inspiration, <laughs> but I don't. I, I, I somehow feel actually I somehow feel before, more powerful. Before you do that, okay. Roll me performance with the bagpipes. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> I was gonna ask if he brought them to the stand. Magic Fafuzula. <laughs> oh shit. I'm assuming still with disadvantage. No advantage. Oh, in that case, nat twenty. That's a twenty-eight. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah, you are. You fucking get that bard inspiration with no problem. <laughs> I was about to say, if you did it beforehand, I would have accepted it. But from the audience, it's like, you're going to get something loud. Get them bagpipes. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> that only lasts 10 minutes, so I'm not sure how long he was in that waiting room. I did think of that, <laughs> trying to do it beforehand. No, nah, he's got it now. He'll, okay. be in, he'll have it for the fight. Okay. I, I wave up knowing exactly where the bagpipes are coming from. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel and I feel bolstered with confidence. I'm just like shoving the guy next to us. We know him. <laughs> you, 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 you nudge the person's arms. It's Red. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Red. Act at least exciting. Come on. We're in a we're in an arena. Did you not notice that we're missing someone? Oh, I'm sure Skrunk's fine. It's not Skrunk, Skrunk who's missing, yeah, right? No, see, I was missing. <laughs> no, the snake is gone. Oh. That's her temple. She'll figure it out. I've been drinking this ale. <laughs> <laughs> Do I notice that she's missing when I look up towards Eloy? Roll perception with disadvantage. With disadvantage? It's I a guess big there's crowd. a lot of people moving around. It's probably going to be that. Yes. Uh, yeah, it was the uh, nat one. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the ground. She is not there. 
I'm not even, I barely even look at the crowd. like, yeah, thanks, Eloy. <laughs> yeah, you are way too busy focusing on the fact that that gate's slowly opening. It's, it's like going slowly. So when I said, I'm sure Scrung is fine, is he like just sitting there with us? Yeah, Scrung's us? just sitting right there. Yeah, I am. <laughs> he's, he's sitting here trying to earn money off my, getting my face crushed in. Yep. You watch as the door slowly creaks open, and then a dainty hand kind of comes underneath the ball, the door. <laughs> <laughs> there is a nine-foot tiefling girl. No, oh, oh no. Oh, you have a thing. <laughs> she's... Bam! Oh, wow, she's... <laughs> That's not the proper one. That's not proper, but it doesn't matter. Accurate it's huge. Size. Oh, boy. She looks over to you. That, so let me explain this to you. She is a large hulking woman, like nine feet tall. You, if she was up, if she was right in front of you. You'd have to look up to see her face. Probably, I am only five she foot seven. She has horns that peek out and then curl back up. With the horns included, she'd be ten feet tall. So I'm fighting Hellboy. <laughs> Hell girl. She's got it. She has a tail, yes, Hell and less. she has hooves. Uh, although you watch as her hair kind of like droops down in front of her face, she puts her arm up. With, she's like covered in like plate armor too, by the way. Oh, great. She's got plate armor, but it's like enough to at least cover the most vital parts of her. She lifts her arm up to show her face. It's the biggest juxtaposition because she is just beaming to death with happiness. <laughs> she's like, oh boy, a new fight! I smile back. Yup. <laughs> Dimpy. She she looks at you. <laughs> uh. Hi, hi. Are you my new opponent? Yup. Good. I hope you don't bleed like the other ones do. Let's have fun. Let's go. Let's go. She's she's like she like is she, is she wielding anything? No, she's got gauntlets. She's, okay, so she's fisticuffs and she is fisticuffs, but. Boy, howdy, that's plate mail fisticuffs on a nine-foot-tall Hulk woman. <laughs> yep. Hey, Ezra, I bet she'd get along with Timothy. We should introduce him. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Uh, after roll this, after initiative. This. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's, that's what it comes down to, really. Uh, not great. That is only a... Net what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't get proficiency to initiative, so it's uh, thirteen. You get to go first. You rolled a four. Oh wow, <laughs> she's slow. Okay, good to know. I, I keep that in mind. <laughs> so what's in front of you? Let me at least explain. Yeah, what, what is what is this pit and what are these? Uh, what those, are those? <laughs> those those are actually statues of the uh, Yan Ti that have been crumpled over and used as just like. A little bit of coverage. <laughs> Cover for when she's in pummeling people. In front of you is a small pit of what looks like like really wet mud. Just mud. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mud fight. Yeah. Mud fight with the cute tiefling girl. <laughs> Who's a giant. <laughs> I'm not even seeing the benefit to that. She's wearing plate. <laughs> Come on, All right. Man, so if I'm thing. going first. Yep. <laughs> this is someone's fetish. 5, 10, 15, 20. I've, I have gone beyond 25. the point where it's just like, Zeno, you know, you're going to invoke fetishes. I'm going to invoke fetishes no matter what the fuck I do, so I'm just going to go 30. forward. Unavoidable at this point. All right, so I'm in front of the I statue just, I, here. I just hope that people have the gumption to just be like, okay, haha, ha, funny joke, let's move on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's, right. what's her move? Her move. She goes into rage. Oh. Ooh. This shocks me not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how close am I to Scrung? Oh, jeez. She's move. fast. That she dashed to you. Oh, boy. She is now standing in front of you. Look up. Look up. Okay. You, if you were to stand in front of her, which you are right now, you are, <laughs> like you are. up to her stomach in height. Yep. That's, that's, that's about accurate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I guess rolling to hit. <laughs> Here we go. Right off the bat, nat 20. Okay. Oh, We're doing all right here today. All right. Roll doing to okay hit. okay here today. All right. So that's my first punch. Uh, you know, here, I'll, yeah, I'll 
Let's see. First damage is three plus four. That's uh, seven plus five. Eleven damage first. Okay, good hit. <laughs> oh, oh, just you, square you, to the jaw. You do you you no you can't reach her jaw. You hit her in the. I can sure you can her. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> sure you can. You sure you can her in the jawline. She takes it. And then as I am coming back down, I am going to like try to do like a spin kick with a uh, modified twenty to hit. Modified twenty. That will hit. Okay. Scares the shit out of me if it wouldn't. <laughs> That's rolling like the top quarter of my dice. Uh, that is another eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. All right. Again, you punch her in the jawline. <laughs> you physically watch her bowl her head up, and then you kick her to the side of the face. <laughs> my <Ooh>. turn! Grab! <laughs> Roll athletics. I am going to roll dexterity to get out of it because you can do that with grabs. There you go. Uh, that is a 24 to get out of it. She misses. Whoop, slip. However, due to her rage, she gets another base attack. Of course. Never mind, I rolled fucking gobshite. Yeah. I, I am more than certain that an 11's not hitting you. It won't. Lucky me. I'm just... Oh, I, I, I know you, that like with the ferocity <laughs> of her hits that if she touches me, I'm going to be hurt. You feel... You watch as like her arm kind of like lurches out like this. You watch as her claws grind the earth below you. Sparks fly <laughs> and the entire earth looks like it was scorched as her hand goes by. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I look at my flame resist ring. Maybe you should have given this to him. <laughs> <laughs> she, she fucking screams at the top of her lungs as she claws at you. You, you. you feel the fucking like air around you vibrate when she screams. <laughs> as a free action on this turn, <laughs> I am going to use my... Uh, Patient defense, spending one key. She has disadvantage on her next attack roll. Cool thing. <laughs> and, because I don't want that right now. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and roll for another attack. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. 25 to hit, that will hit. Or, I'm sorry, 26 to hit. That yeah. will hit. It'll still hit, but I want to do my math right. Uh, that is eight damage. Or nine damage, I'm sorry, that's... I'm going up my old All righty. I want you to actually take note to something. Roll me a perception check real quick. Perception as I am punching her. Yep. Uh, <laughs> probably not seeing it. That is a seven. Never mind. You are too fixated on the fact that you want to <laughs> de deal damage to this girl quickly as possible because if she touches you, you're going to feel it. Yes. All right. Uh, Follow-up attack. Uh, that is another 26 to hit. That will hit. All right, good, good, we're doing well. Uh, that only does six damage. All right, one quick second. So that turn, I did 15 damage. Previous turn, I did 11 plus eight, I think. 19 damage. 19 damage, oh, okay. No, pretty good. I would have knocked me out by now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, she's taking it like a champ. It doesn't look like a lot of this shit's affecting her. This is really bothersome. <laughs> oh, I mean, she's enraged, so she takes, I think it's like half, half damage. To half to bludgeon. Yep. So, what you can surmise, this girl's a barbarian. <laughs> I, I figured that as soon as she screamed and was nine feet tall and hulking. <laughs> nah, catches me as a druid. All right, she's going <laughs> to use a bonus action on something real quick. She doesn't aim for you now. She picks up the statue. Behind me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now she's distracted What's and holding on? something. She's swinging it at me. Boom! <laughs> right down on top of you. Let's disadvantage. <laughs> disadvantage. That 20 does oh, not yeah. count. That 20 does not count. So let's roll it again. Another nat 20. All right, no, not another nat 20. She <laughs> rolled a 15 on that. You saved yourself from a nat 20 hit. Whoa! <laughs> that is, no, not a 15 hit. That's a 15 with base. I got to add her stats to oh. that. Well, that might still hit. It probably will Does still a hit. Does a 21 hit? Yes, a 21 <laughs> will hit. 
<laughs> you don't take max damage. I will say that. That is nice. Mm. I don't take crit damage. You don't take crit damage. I am. I was just like, I rolled a 20, but thank God he did that last one. Yeah, patient defense saved me. Yeah, it did. Where's my 12 at? Here we go. On my phone. Good job, Chris. Uh, okay. I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Temporary hit points. That is 14 points of damage. Jesus Ooh. Christ. As the fucking statue comes down upon you. You, you, with your defense, you somehow are able to use your arm to bar <laughs> to the side, but it cuts in half, and you are now sitting there in a with pile a, of rubble. In a pile of rubble on top of you, and you feel <gasps> your knees buckle and you push it off. Holy shit! <laughs> your arms are red and bleeding. Oh. Yeah, like me and the whole audience just go, ooh! <laughs> yeah. Scrung, yes! <laughs> This ain't over. Does Scrung have like popcorn or candy or anything? Oh, so he's I got he's got like a mug of ale right next to him. He's like flicking his ticket around in his hand, <laughs> and he's got a he's got a stick of fucking uh, candy rocks. Like, <laughs> yeah. This in hey, spite of Scrung, might be a little too far away for me to try and sleight of hand his candy away. So. No, that's in his jaw. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can attempt. <laughs> Do uh, you want to? I don't want to pull it from his mouth. No, you could gross. with enough with enough of a fucking sleight of hand. You could. Nah, I'll let him have it. All right, I am going to go ahead and use patient defense again. That was super useful last turn. I would have been murdered. Well, I would have lived, but it would have been real bad. <laughs> All right, would have been I am some critical condition looking under this arena. Well, to be fair, the pillar's gone now. Yeah, I was like, Lista. <sighs> She's looking down at you with the biggest, like, toothy grin. And I actually, yeah, like, uh, rolling my... Actually, hold on. Let me see how I'm feeling. Yeah, no. I roll... I, I push that away. I am actually have, like, a bit, bit smile on my face. He was... Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I have not had a fight like this in a while. So patient defense is going on. Rolling to hit. Yep. We just Motherfucker! Up. Another nat 20! <laughs> Fucking nuts! I'm not even helping him cheat this time. No! <laughs> Roll it. No, no ball bearings or anything here. That's crazy. All right, that's two plus four, six plus five. That's 11 damage for that one. All righty. Crack. So another shit bursting out of the, like, rubble, smiling. <laughs> this thing is good luck today. Holy shit. Yeah, less good this time, but does a uh, 20, sorry, it was on a 16, have to add that up, 20, 18, 23 hit? Yes. Okay, 23 will hit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use another key and go to Flurry of Blows to deliver one additional one after this, if I can. Uh, that is nine damage, and one additional attack at, oh, that's probably not doing Waste of flurry. I'm guessing an 11 will not hit. No, it will not. Okay. It's still, what, 20 damage total that turn? Yeah, well, half, so 10. Yeah. 10. 20 something, anyway. All right. Well, she's bleeding from the mouth, <laughs> <laughs> but she's still smiling. Me too. I'm having a good time in here. <laughs> it's a real Goku moment. Oh. He has brought forth the book. I've been doing too well. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. There's an ability. I wanted this fight fair. I made sure they didn't turn off or whatever the hell her <laughs> abilities were. No, that's fair. I was thinking of ways to help you cheat, but uh, decided I would just let this go. Where's this fucking ability? Shit. I happen to believe Thuraday that it wouldn't be a lethal fight, so I was like, ah, I'll let go. it play out. She uses Hellish Rebuke. Vastasest. Hell Hellish Rebuke. You point your finger and the creature that damaged you is mo uh, momentarily surrounded by Hellish Flame. Hmm. The creature must take a dexterity saving throw. It takes 2d10 fire if on fail of save. 
All right. Dexterity saving throw. Luckily, kind of my bag. Uh, that is a 23. 23 save. And what's her DC? Not that. <laughs> like lower? Lower. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank God. Yep, so you you, Whoa! you you fucking watch as she's... Cartwheel! She, whoosh, whoosh, yeah, no, whoosh. she's fucking smiling at you so much that it's like... No, this is creepy. What the fuck is it's she starting th to feel a little warm? There's fucking fire everywhere <laughs> as it rings in on you, and you, some you cartwheel do dodge out of the way just Whoa! in time. Base attack. I'm to guessing. Hit you. I, I, I'm okay. One more time to hit. Oh, that's a twenty-two hit. Yes, a twenty-two will definitely hit me. Okay. Does she at, still least she's not, at least she's not hitting me with a statue this time. Does she still have disadvantage from your uh, patient defense or whatever? Oh yeah, she does have disadvantage. Hmm. Because I'm doing my patience. Thank you, Ben. Save me. Ah, roll the five. Good Aha! Hey! hey. <laughs> Rules! Whoosh! <laughs> Sometimes they're useful. Yes! No. That's we fair. threw the book at her and it worked! <laughs> you threw the book and it's fine. So, that that hellish rebuke, the fire, like, got a little bit in her eyes that she she missed you. And you watch as, like, you duck under the fire and then her arm comes like, right next the to the your fire. head. Whoosh! Whoa! Through the fire and the flames, you carried on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use my patient defense one more time, as it has been super useful. Yeah. Uh, rolling to hit. Uh, that is... Yeah, that's probably not going to do it. That's a seven. Seven will not hit. Yeah. All right. Well, my bonus attack action... Uh, that is a 19 plus 5, 24. That will hit. Okay. Is this the last round that you have that bonus con or whatever from the fruit? It doesn't matter. That's gone anyway. Oh, well. Uh, what, what can I add this to? Uh, any ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Okay, so not two damage. That no, not damage, unfortunately. Okay. No, um, two damage is too broken. All right, that is uh, nine, nine damage, though. So oh, right. Cut in half. Yep, cut in half. Is it rounded down? Rounded down. Okay, so that's four. Yep, four points of damage. Um. Ooh. So remember that fire you hit? That fire I dodged. Yeah, that. that I'm sorry. The fire you dodged. Yeah. You look down at the floor, and following that mud that was chasing after her, that wasn't mud. That was oil. It goes into the middle of the pit and ignites. Whoosh. She is standing in the fire. She does not give a fuck. I'm glad I'm not there, <laughs> but she's on fire, and she's attacking me. Hooray! <laughs> she grabs a handful of the mud underneath her. Uh, what you doing? <laughs> she, I feel like, like this should have been explained in the rules. <laughs> she grabs, she like, kind of like, cakes her fist in the fire. She's gonna take one point of damage for that. Good for her. <laughs> Again, I look at my ring. Hey, <laughs> wait! This would have been real nice. Hmm. So she's gonna try to hit me with the. Fire. Oh, she's gonna hit you with the fire. All right, roll with disadvantage. I think that's probably what she's gonna get. Yeah, buddy, she rolled a three. Okay, hey. good. That missed. And now okay. bonus attack. Still disadvantage, thank God. Yeah, you lucked out by one point. Woo! <laughs> All right, that's the last time I can use that. <laughs> you are you are watching her just go to fucking town. She whoosh, she wants whoosh. to hit you, but my God, the joy on this girl's face! I'm glad we're having fun. <laughs> the right. crowds the crowds eating this shit up. Everyone in the in the entire bleachers are like, "Holy shit, this is the best match ever!" <laughs> this better be the like longest she's had to go. <laughs> like I'm throwing this gauntlet down with a yeah no a, she. She is just like, she looks down at you. <sighs> oh, she's getting frustrated. Yeah, no, she's not frustrated. She's just like, I did not think you'd be standing still this long. <laughs> Technically, I've been dodging. 24 to hit. 24 to hit. That hits. All right. Uh, nine damage. All righty, four. Follow up. Uh, does a 19 hit? No, it does not. Ooh. Deflects right off her plate mail. <laughs> How? Oh, wait, wait, I'm yeah. adding this. 19 plus 4, so that that's hits. 23. Okay, you thank go. you. Eloy, you have been bardically inspired. My confidence has boosted! Ugh. Another 9 damage, so... 
four eight. plus four. Another a total of eight damage that round. All right, so you boom, watch, boom. Yeah, you watch as your hand hits her plate mail. She's like, like dents in. She chuckles at a dents in. <laughs> <sighs> I'm, I'm still cheering him on. I'm going to attempt to cheer him on to the tune of another bardic inspiration Ooh. if I am still able to be heard. With your bagpipes? Hmm. You used it one time a day, didn't you? For the one bardic inspiration? Uh, well, I've got four points of bardic inspiration every day that I could Go give for it. Him. Okay. Sweet. You're doing real good. Just keep on punching her real hard. I believe in you. Ah. <sighs> Thank you, Eli. <laughs> Thank you, Eli. Yeah, you can only have one at a time, but I've got four total that I can give out. And that's why I'm glad you took those bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm feeling really good about them, too. <laughs> uh, uh, Even though the entire crowd is like, Oh, God! <laughs> you but do they, it, Eli. But it's just filling me with confidence. <laughs> instilling me with determination. Her turn, yes? Yep, no longer no longer disadvantage. She swings her tail to try and knock you off your feet. It's a sweeping attack. Yep. Okay. I'm guessing an 18 will not hit. 18 matches. So, yeah, it hits. Ooh. Like, what do I have to roll against being knocked prone? Roll me a... Re Reflex save? Re yeah, yeah dexterity. Sure. Yeah. DC, whatever her... Whatever is. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a... 19. You don't trip. You you catch yourself just before you're about to trip over. Oh. But you do take the damage. That fucking Charlie horsed your leg something fierce. Smack! Ah, oh, my knee! <laughs> Ooh, you fuck. I rolled low for that shit. Yay! That is seven points of damage. Jesus, that's low? That's low. <laughs> fuck me. Okay, this is a real fight now. Bonus attack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't, I get them too. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not oblivious. Twenty-two. Yeah, that hits. Base attack. Six. Oof, that's lower than the tail. Hey, hey! That thing with the tail. That was a dirty trick. You're a dirty fighter. Cutting words. <laughs> <laughs> Negative one d six to that damage. Roll me. Hmm. Per per negative six that maybe? damage. Yeah, roll me negative one d six. Roll me performance, please. Okay. Because, <laughs> because yeah, you are in the crowd. That uh, that would be a twenty six. Yeah. Roll it. <laughs> uh, negative four to that damage. All right, I'm back up to. <laughs> Bards are real good at making other people even better. <laughs> she doesn't She's... even use her fist. She has two knuckles and bleh, right in the face. <laughs> I take a little damage. She, but she, she was Mo Howard you with her knuckles. Yeah, she was distracted a little bit. Yep. Lucky me. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're just fucking brawling. Just... <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I gave you guys your DBZ fight. <laughs> no, we're, we're doing it. Uh, does a 20, uh, 23 hits, right? I Just above done. it. Okay, good. Uh, that is 8 plus... So that's another 4 damage. Uh, 19, I know, hits. Yeah. And that is another 9 damage. So four, another 8 damage that I've dealt to her. Okay. You, you watch as she actually, she takes a step back from the, all of this. <laughs> She's finally feeling something. She, no, she, she She's, is. She got staggered. <laughs> no, she staggered her fucking real good. I, she, I, I, I let out a real big smile at that. She is standing in the fire because of that. Whoosh. <laughs> she is now engulfed in flame. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in months. She comes at you for a hug. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to roll dex against her strength, I'm guessing. Yep. All right. That is uh, 26. She rolled a 23. <laughs> she will backhand you with the arm that missed you. All right. So she walked out of the flame trying to hug me, and now she's... Backhand. Did she take any damage by walking into the fire? Because she took a little by touching it. Tieflings by nature get resistance to fire. Yes, but still, she walked into the whole... Ah, never mind. She I does. Don't care. She does. <laughs> no, you're right. 
One point of damage, so he resists it completely. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. All right. So she's trying to backhand me now. That will hit. She's successfully backhanding me now. Yeah. Yeah. And you're getting the fire damage along with that, Of too. course. She's coated in it. Why wouldn't I? Mm, yeah. To be fair, remember when I said that all characters have a portrait that are recruitable? <laughs> no, I, I believe it. <laughs> oh, man. We could have this coming with us. <gasps> ah. Ow. Ow. What did I do? Hold on. What am I getting hurt with? Hold on. Zito, what are you doing to me? Hold on. Stop hurting me. Zito. Ah, the end good. Of the fight. Yeah. Yes. Mm. 16 points of fire damage. 16 Ooh. points of fire damage? Wait, is some of that is some of that the hit and some of that fire? Yes. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Eight. No. <laughs> 16. Okay. 14 of that was the punch, and the rest of that was fire. Okay, at least that adds up. Motherfucker! <laughs> I'm not doing great, no. It's going to come down to, like, this round, I think. She's not doing hot either. Yeah, good. No, Despite this is a, the this fact is a that fight. she's on fire, she is feeling it. No, I'm excited. This is great. This is amazing. I feel incredible! Matt 20 again! Yes! I didn't bet on you, but I won my with friend away. With the, at like with just the rage of the fire slapping you in the face, it gives you a rush of adrenaline. Oh my fucking god! This whoever set this boat, I love you. <laughs> I love you. With with absolute rage welling inside of you, the thrill of all of this, you can see the crowd no longer exists. Yeah, no, this you, just too barbarous. You you what? You are now literally looking at a female version of Satan herself, <laughs> and she's smiling at you as this is happening. As. 12 damage. 12 damage. Oh, okay. Then we go with the bonus, which is uh, 23 to hit. That will hit. All right. Follow up blow, which might very well be my last punch if she hits me again. I if she's not down. Uh, that's nine, essentially eight, four. So. You yeah. take that final hit on her, she stands still. Ten, so she's taking 10 damage this turn, basically. Yeah. You you watch her, like... <sighs> she is leaning on top of you right now as you speak. I'm, I'm leaning as well. Just, you, uh, you, no, you see your fist is, like, shaking. The weight of her body makes your fist go down, and she hits the floor. Oh! <sighs> <sighs> <There's, sighs> <laughs> There is I a, fall backwards as there's, well. There is a deafening silence as every, like the entire temple erupts into an explosion of roaring. <laughs> Especially Skrong. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> is, Fuck you! <laughs> is right, I don't actually know how betting works. Did I just win Skrong's money? <laughs> I think so. And then some. That's what you get for betting against your best friend, Skrong. <laughs> 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 <sighs> I'm just laying back, panting. <sighs> oh. <laughs> you watch as a bunch of other goblins with like sta staffs come in. They're like all dressed up in like rather like lavish garb, kind of just come in, just like jab you and heal you up. Oh. I feel like you see a bunch of goblins in the audience throwing their tickets. Just like, <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I feel like I made a lot of people's days worse today. <laughs> Everybody thought I was the easy bet. What were my odds, by the way? <laughs> like, what, what? Okay, so he won pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so I, I want you to walk back over to that table and hand them your ticket. Yep, <laughs> I do. So you put down a thousand, yes? Yep. How many to one? As far as I know. <laughs> how, many, how many to one was I at? Enough to get him back 9,000 gold. <laughs> you was at nine to one! <laughs> Oh, this is easily the richest any character I've ever played has ever been. <laughs> and he doesn't understand the value of money. <laughs> we can buy you a whole mess of bagpipes with this. <laughs> you paid off your bagpipes, so that's nice. So I, I'm back up to full? Yep, so wow. is she. Holy Impressive. shit. Good fight. <laughs> She, like, looks down at you, like, 
She does not know what the fuck just happened. Ugh. She is so vacant to the world, but then snaps, looks down at you. She goes for a hug. <laughs> I'm not going to dodge. <laughs> Roll I'm, me athletics. I'm a little apprehensive, but holy shit. Uh, let's, let's see, I get advantage to that, so... 12... T -t 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 Wait, hold on now. She picks you up with no problem, but... Yeah, I figure. Don't worry. Uh, 17. Yeah, she she picks you up with no problem, but she knows full well that, like, she is not using her full strength to, like, just hug it out right uh, now. I'm, I'm going to pat her on the back, yep, because I can't quite reach all the way around her you don't even, you, you don't, you don't, No, you don't even reach that. You, like, reach beh <laughs> just behind like, the, the, shield, the padding Ugh. of the shield. Good fight! That was amazing. Ugh, I've never fought an opponent like you well, except for... One of my older brothers and my master. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I want to beat them up too. Um, I get really quiet. <laughs> but it's okay. You're the champion now. You get to take my place. I what? <laughs> you get to take my place. She like hoists you up to the crowd. <laughs> <they're> <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Woo! You, you watch as the banner above you actually burns away her image. Almost like in a ripple of water on the tapestry itself. And it makes your face. Huh, oh. Does it make my face at the time or just? At the time. So I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Forever just wake is. <laughs> what have I gotten into? <laughs> she kind of just like, like hoists you back. Like she kind of puts you under her arm and takes you into that room. Okay. The one on the champion side. Yep. Okay, I guess we're going somewhere. She kind of like throws you on like one of the- Eli House! <laughs> <laughs> throws you on one of the couches. Puh! And we'll cut back to you two right now. All right. You I just watch as this hulking beast of a woman just picked up Wake <laughs> and took him into the other room. Me want snoo snoo! <laughs> Not like- that. I know. It's the first thing that came to mind. So real quick, now that I've had my moment of gloating, I, I count you out- come, You come back like- Yep. I, I count out 500 gold pieces and I give it to Skrung. Here you go, Skrung. Now you broke even. Did, did we learn a lesson, Skrung? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Skrung. <laughs> God, remember when I said all these companion quests are going to happen? I'm like, how am I going to justify Skrung wanting to join this crew? <laughs> it was very reluctantly. Yeah. So yeah, you pretty much just like... Ziaka has been gone this whole time. Skrung and Red are now watching as this woman just fucking steals him away into the next room. So, should we try to get down there and see what's going on with them? Or, <clears throat> I don't know, who was the last person who saw Ziaka? I didn't even realize she was gone. No one did. Terrific. Uh, well, I know she was around when we were perusing the shops. She probably left sometime. Oh, man. We should probably go with the lead where we know where they are. <laughs> and we might find her just, I don't know, she might be milling about. She might have found her way down where we're trying to get anyway. So, I don't know. She was the one we were really looking for, like, you know, for. Yep. So, uh, you guys are going to try and get your way inside the champion's room? Yeah, we're going to add up. Just be like, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm Wake's manager. I, I know him. We're, the we're his traveling companion. Hey, come on. Wake! Get, hey! You, hey, hey, hey! You, don't, you don't even get <laughs> towards, like, the challenger's hall before the guard's just like, no. Look, he's our friend. We need we need to talk to him. I'm telling you. What, what, do, you, what do you... Do you need papers? Do you need something? I'm sure I've got some sort of written proof here somewhere that I know who he is. <laughs> I'm just scrambling, making just you Just staring at you blankly. <laughs> Come on. Anything? <clears throat> Buddy? Please? I thought this was a place of... Ma I thought this was the happiest place on Earth! Now, Benji! Silly! Now, it, now, now, Mr. Thuraday is our, our close personal friend. He said, he said to, to mention his name. Does that do anything for us? Roll. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on! That'd be a nat one! Come yeah. on! <laughs> roll your ass back out of it. <laughs> yeah, roll your ass back outside. Ah. <laughs> they push you especially the fuck out. <laughs> Hall's closed. 
That's nuts. He has my spear. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Uh, can we? Get, so we can't even get like near the arena or anything. You're weird. back outside the weird. front door. Great. Well, all right. I guess uh, I'm gonna roll perception and look for Ziaka. Great. Uh, Twelve. Hide nor seek of a snake. Well, I rolled another nat one. There's, oh. a, there's all our bad yeah, luck coming say, back to it's, roost. It's all hey, hey, we won. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's balancing out all those crits Good you karma. just got. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Shippy. You are back in the, you are back in the room. You, sorry, guys, you rolled too many bad <laughs> rolls. Fine. Uh, so this is where you've been staying. I take it. This is my room. Nice. I sleep here. I look around. Is there like much in here? Like, <laughs> what, what do we got in here? Uh, we got like. A lot of paintings of her with like a champion's prize of things. She is the strong lady. She's got all of her paraphernalia on the wall of just like all the all of her accomplishments, all of her fights. Uh, you want there's like weapons and stuff on the rack, almost the same thing like the other room. Uh, there is like a couple of shelves depicting like a whole bunch of like the. Uh, fine day boardwalk companies like logos and everything a lot of like fake little trophies But then there's also the wall of taxidermy heads of animals What's the story with these? Oh, these are all things I've, I've killed They make you fight animals in here? No, of course not. They don't make me fight animals I just I go out and I train to better myself and if I get a trophy I get a trophy. Oh fair enough. I know uh, another There's an arm I... on the wall what kind of arm? Crocodile arm. Oh. I think I know who that belongs to. Really? <gasps> then you know one of the crocodiles? She's like now in your face, like grabbing you by the shirt, holding you up. Yeah, one of my good friends is a crocodile, actually. Is he really, really big and fat? Rotund. <laughs> <laughs> you know who he is? Where is he? Oh, he's a good friend of mine. He's, uh, he's off, um... I need to fight him now! Oh! Well, I, I can introduce you to him if you if you uh, decide to come with us later. Come with you? Wait, wait. Wait, that's right. You're the champion. I get to leave now. Yeah, and... You and don't! I, um, how... how um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. Uh, so, am I just stuck here? Well, I mean, you signed the contract with the Fair Day Company, didn't you? Actually, my friend, as... <laughs> I remember no such contract. <laughs> I would never have signed anything. My manager would have done that. I I was never presented with this. Well, she she's Not just that like. I'm there to well, I don't know what we're gonna <laughs> do now. Myself. I guess we just gotta wait for Mister Third Day to come down. I guess he's gonna be really mad at me for losing. I mean, this is. Oh, you put up a great fight. You I, did I haven't too. Had... I like you so much. You like I like you. On the back. <laughs> I like you too. My name's Nedra, by the way. My name's Wake. Nice to meet you, Nedra. Do you want a drink? She, like, grabs you, like, a keg and throws it in front of you. <laughs> yes. I can say absolutely yes. All right. By the way, do you know how, uh, is there a way down below this arena? Below the arena? Yeah. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Do you mean the hole in the middle that they patched up? Yes. Oh yeah, that uh, that used to have a staircase that went down that way, but it was kind of uh, thrown off after the accident. But don't worry about it. They filled it up with uh, all that oil, so now it's a fun little spectacle when I jump in. Did you see how the fire was on my skin and it didn't do I anything? I did. That was really I cool and confusing. I love doing that. That's so scary. cool. <laughs> my hair was on fire. It doesn't even burn. It's so good. I have a friend that can do that. <gasps> you do? Yeah. He has a special little ring that allows him to be lit on fire. I want to set him on fire. That's great. We should do that next time we see him. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was claim to be your manager and get you in a fight you wanted to get in. Yes, you totally did. <laughs> and they did not read the contract that I was signed away to. <laughs> they never gave me a contract. <laughs> How are you there? <laughs> I'm not I am having an argument inside my head. <laughs> and he is accurate to how I would respond. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Forget that contract. Yeah. But no, she she explains to you that there was an accident, but they filled up the entryway leading down with oil. Oh, and there's no other way down there, huh? 
Oh, last I checked, I... I think there was, like, a little staircase that leads downstairs. Uh, we do sometimes make sure that this entire building is structurally sound, so the carnival doesn't, you know, topple over. That makes sense. Well, as the champion, I hope I'm able to go and look down there. I want to make sure it's strong myself if I'm going to be fighting more strong people <gasps> like you. Do you want to fight the thing? Have you fought the thing? I have! How she strong is the thing? She holds up her arm and her, like, a good chunk of her flesh is rotted. Oh, boy! <laughs> it was really hard fighting the thing. That's a good reason why they closed it off. That was part of the accident. Oh. Then, yes, I think it's very important that we take care of the thing. Would you like to help us take care of the thing? I get to fight the thing again? I bet I could get that to happen. Roll diplomacy. Uh, that is a 12. She seems really excited by it. The thing! Yeah, the thing! <laughs> She's so in. You are her new best friend. Awesome! Hey, um, I also heard you might have taken a stop by a cave when you were fighting some of those croc people, huh? Uh, what croc people? I They all came here. The alligator people came here? Yeah. The one small one was really interested in making sure that his big fat one would fight me. Huh. Interesting. Because I heard from... Shit, I don't have Kevin. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have Lancey. I never took him off. Yeah, Lancey's still there. Hey. Hey, Lancey, do you recognize this person? She's, she's looking at you. You have an imaginary friend ring? Yes, I do. <laughs> That's amazing! I want to wear it! She grabs it. No, 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 oh. careful, careful. It's very dangerous. Dangerous? Yes, but not in a good way. <laughs> what do you mean, not in a good way? In a way that, uh, if you... <laughs> Hold on, he's trying to talk. Here, can, may I hold him? Oh, sure. Thank you. <gasps> <coughs> you recognize this person. The fuck? No, I don't recognize this! I would've! Oh, wait, you've been in a trunk. Yes! <laughs> I slip it back on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I need Kevin. <laughs> I need my friends. You have more imaginary friends? I do. And real ones. <laughs> <laughs> this whole group. You don't know how long this girl's been down here, dude. I have a sneaking suspicion that she wasn't the tiefling in the cave. <laughs> No, but she, uh, she, now she, like, looks at you and goes, well, wait a minute, why do you care so much about going down in the basement, though? Uh, uh, there's a lot of trouble on this island, creating, uh, danger that we have to fight and destroy. You like fighting danger, right? Well, I mean, I like fighting, but I like to fight for fun, not... And besides, ever since the Boardwalk Company brought me in here, that's all I've been doing. Well, yeah, you get to fight for fun, but now that you're not the champion, you're going to have to find your own fun, right? Do I get to punch Mr. Thurday? <laughs> we'll see where this comes from. <laughs> I mean, I got to I'm... punch you and you beat me fair and square. I can't hit you again until we agree to duel. That's true. I'm glad we've established this. <laughs> I mean... You beat me. Wait, do you have friends who fight too? Not Were as... you friends with that one who was really loud with the stupid little sack on his chest? <laughs> Actually, yeah. He's, he's a friend of Can mine. Can I get but... to hit him? You'll probably really like him when you meet him. I don't, I don't think he's the kind That's of guy... That's a who... yes! Okay. Yeah! <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you that none of my friends are quite as good at fighting as I am. So that's... that's... But then that means they're not friends then. Well... Friendship, it means a lot of things in my book. Mr. Thurday slams in. Ah. Hello. You're amazing! <laughs> Do you, you not realize how much money we got from you? I bet it was quite a penny. Quite a penny! You. I, I'm so... I am done with you. You sit in the corner and think about what you've done. <laughs> Hey, she fought really it's good. It's all right. Here you go. She hands, hands her a big thing of cotton candy. 
<laughs> she's, she's now in the corner, just like munching away at it. Okay, back to matters at hand. Okay. Money. Yes. That's right. I have to pay you now. That's right. My benefactors are not going to like this because while we did make a lot of money, they kind of were hoping that we could keep the tiefling around for public image. And, uh, no offense, but while you did show us up in the fights, you're, you're going to need some PR management. You don't look the site. You don't look the part for this. You should really man. let my manager in here then. The manager, where is he? Uh, he was out there in the crowd. I don't know why he hasn't been down here yet. Hey! That's it! He was the uh, elf boy that was with me. You know, the one that signed oh, my him. paperwork. Huh. All right, I'm going to have to... That I would really like to look over. Hmm. We're going to really have... We're going to have to bring him in then, huh? All yes. right, give me one quick second. I'll be right back. I have a few more friends with them! <laughs> Mr. Thurday comes and summons you guys into the next room. So we all get to go? You are all here. All right. Good. All right. I was ready to fight to get Eloy at the very least. <laughs> in there. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a snake person with you? Yeah, she ran around and did some sightseeing. We're going to catch up with her later. Deception. <laughs> you got it. With my tw modified 22. He believes you. Now, excuse me. Uh... As the new champion's manager, uh, I was not presented with any sort of paperwork or anything on how this would proceed. I am curious to see what Eli, kind there's of... There's now a giant woman above you looking down at you with the biggest <laughs> oh demonic smile. She got I'm cotton there. candy on the side of her face. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you know someone named Timothy? No. <laughs> I'll bet you would just love him. Is he a friend, too? He is a very good friend of mine. I'd like to punch him one day. Ooh, I don't think he would like that. But I thought friends like fighting. Wait, you're a friend too? That's right! She grabs you by the shirt. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. He's not that kind of friend. He's the kind of friend that makes you wanna dance. Do you like dancing? It's like punching the ground with your legs. Yes! <laughs> do it! <laughs> I play my flute for her and show her how to do a little dance. Uh, 17. She doesn't know how to dance worth fucking gobshite, but she's She's stomping and jumping. She's <laughs> stomping around. Yeah! Shit's shaking all over the place. Oh, you are a natural! See, isn't he a good friend? <laughs> I can't wait to punch him one day. Ah oh, man, <laughs> won't that be a interesting day? I would be so- But, but see, I, I, I make the sounds My that tell you- My name's Nedra! Hi, Nedra! I'm Eloy. Who are you? Are you a friend too? My name's Ezra. It's nice to meet you, Nedra. I am not much of a fighting type, but I am a joking type. Do you like to laugh? It's okay. You can punch him. He's a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> I whisper to her. <laughs> Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> see, the, see the, thing, the fun thing I like to do, I don't like to get punched, but I, I am okay at dodging <laughs> and getting away from punches. Dodge! <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen? No. No, oh, no. <laughs> Dodge! <laughs> Punch! <laughs> How much damage do I take? It's okay, we got... <laughs> I'm dead, aren't I? Have I been subdued? Oh, 15 points of damage! Okay, I, I'm still standing. It's okay, least. we have healers around here. Pop, 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 it falls to your back. It's the ah! I thought you said you were good at dodging, Ezra. Uh, I'm not great at it. But you took a punch like a champion. You're a good friend. <laughs> Thank you. Just <laughs> teeth fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to work on that. Ugh. She looks over to Red. Don't you fucking dare. She does not like getting Intimidation. <laughs> Red, uh, you, you see Nedra. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just slinks down. Okay. Yeah, Red just like looks at her. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, Mr. Thurday. Uh, so what happens now? So that you got a little leakage down over here. Yeah, do you have any of those healers? <clears throat> he hands you a small little vial. Just get your health back. <laughs> it was, a, it, was a, it was a mighty swig of a healing potion. <laughs> 
Ah, thank you. Ah, I grew my teeth back. Yeah. <laughs> ah, oh, I think they're straighter than they were. Okay. <laughs> now, Mr. Thurday, uh, my client here seems to be your new champion. And, uh, well, I think none of us entirely expected things to go the way they did, but... Oh, of course ex not. <laughs> excuse me. I hold up all my gold. Uh, someone was betting on you the whole time, buddy. Yeah, I imagined I would win. Well, it's not necessarily that I didn't think you would win. It's just in such a flashy style, it was very impressive, my good friend. <laughs> With my modified 25 deception. Uh, this is... What is that? Uh, now you win. <laughs> But uh, I don't, in particular, Mr. Thurday, I don't think you expected this to happen because I was never quite told what exactly would happen to my friend here once he won. I, I heard there was a prize pool. Yes, actually. Yes, we were does, actually. Does he going get to, to go skimming, swimming in that? <sighs> it's not that kind of pool. Oh, okay. I mean, here's the problem: is that we were just about to discuss that we did have a prize pool. But it's in the basement, and it's kind of closed off. Well, Is you know there what? <laughs> this just seems to be a, a, an entire day of happy coincidences, because it just so happens that something in our quest involved us, you know, just having a look at this place, and part of that was going to be the basement. Quest? Yeah, we're, we're, we're adventurers. Look, we told we're, we're explorers. You led with being a comedy troupe. <laughs> no, I said I wanted to be a comedy ah, troupe. Fair enough. I, I also expressed that we were humble travelers. Look, there's something in your basement. It might lead to what is... Okay, you know how you're not getting many customers these days? Yes. That might be because the entire area is locked off. Is that what me did? I'm not going to say what or what he did not do. You can take that up with him. <laughs> However, whatever is in your basement might be linked to the cause of whatever's in these waters. Uh, all right, look. The problem is, is that we already had someone down there slinking around and causing all kinds of mayhem, that now there's something even bigger down there slinking around, and that's what did this to her arm. Hold her up. Ew. Yeah, like, you watch, it's like, the flesh looks like it's like almost like crumbled like stone but still wet enough that it looks like there's a little bit of flesh still underneath it <sighs> well i don't like it but we have to take care of that thing if we're going to figure out what the hell's going on here besides i made a promise to a friend a promise to who the snake a friend because we found her oh where's she i thought you believed me when i said she was sightseeing <laughs> snap <laughs> door opens on the side, like the fucking shelf that had all of Nedra's things on it, pulls open, and there's a bunch of goblins with Ziaka. Hi, Ziaka! Hey, 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 hey! This is no way to treat a patron, a patron of your fine establishment, sir. <laughs> well. Haven't you anything to say with these improper business practices? I'm going to ask that you let her go. Gladly. Let's her go. The, the goblins kind of like push her to the side. Kind of figured that a Yon T walking around here wanted downstairs. Because well, I mean, that's, is... that's the big thing that whoever let it loose did this to her arm. I look at Ziaka. Do you know anything about this thing? There are those that we bury alongside the tribute. Are they guardians of the tribute? In a more poetic sense, not in the actual living of the dead sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they are members of your tribe that are down there to protect it. Well, son then explain why there's an undead version of one of these things slicking around down there. Well then. Oh, I do, I do, Mr. Uh, I do, Mr. Thuraday, Nedra says. It's because the bald man was in there. Yes, we know about that. The bald man. You, uh, you know this bald man, Nedra. Yeah, he was the one who made the big snake man come in. He's, he's real mean. He wanted to, he was poking around in the bodies and trying to put stuff inside of them. 
I know this man. I don't know him, know him, but I know of him. How do you know of him? Mr. Thuraday looks to you. I pull out the jar with a tumor in it. <laughs> That's what he had! I've been hunting... <clears throat> Ever since I got to this island, I've been running into these things. Apparently, they create monsters. Now, whatever monsters this guy is trying to create, we are trying to stop. And one of those things, I believe, is in your basement. All right, look. What do you want in return for getting rid of this thing? Because I want to do this without letting my customers know. Because if my customers know, my subordinates know. And if my subordinates know, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. All of us. All right, well. I want, first of all, Freedom from whatever contract <laughs> it is we signed with you. Look, we said that as a PR thing, man. Excellent, excellent. Yes, I wouldn't be very good face. Uh, I mean, look at me. I, I point at my visage. <laughs> I mean, we would have... Uh, you could have just... We were going to ask you to pay off most of the prize money we gave you so you could be free, so we can work with this. Anyway, what do you oh, want? Well, prize money out the window. <laughs> <laughs> a chunk of it. One. Yeah, okay. You do deserve uh, it. You did kind of <laughs> trounce Nedra here. He trounced me good. You trounced her good. Oh, barely. Anyway, second. You and your men are to leave whatever is down there alone. That prize pool, off limits. That, As far as you are concerned, that area down there does not exist. I've been trying to tell them that they're tampering with the collective one. What she said. What the fuck is the collective one? The collective one is their deity, and if you mess with their deity, you end up with undead snake men. You believe in that stupid bunk? You have an undead snake man in your basement! Not because of her or the snake people! Well, do you want more undead snake men? That is how you get undead snake men. That's how you get undead <laughs> snake men. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was where we were going. Yep. All right, wow. all right, all right! Fine. Go down there. Take care of this, and we'll talk about what we'll give you in compensation. Just get rid of this dumb thing before it decides to come up through the oil. Oh, I'm and not done negotiating. Everything. Oh, for fuck's sake! Of course you aren't. What else do you want? From now on, a small percentage, say five percent of whatever your house earns, goes to the collective one downstairs. <laughs> That's cute. You I, think sla I slam the wall with my fist next to him. Five percent! Intimidation check. With advantage since I just beat his champion? Yep. All right. <laughs> Good. I need the advantage. That is a... Uh, it's charisma, right? Yep. Then, yeah, that's a 17. <laughs> Shit! Okay! Okay! I don't even know what the snake men want with fucking money anyway. They're just throwing it away in their dumb basements. Good. <laughs> it's to make sure this island stays afloat, you charlatan. See what she says. says. Yeah, I'm a charlatan. That's my background. Yeah, it's right there on your character sheet. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Excuse me. Out of the goodness of my heart, you can take 5% out of what you would have given me and do that instead. Like for, for their first payment. Fine, just get rid of this thing. I better have results, or this is all null and void. Oh, you'll have results. All right, give us a little bit. We have to dredge the oil and make sure no one comes into the Colosseum while this is happening. And with that, we will stop there. All right. Ooh. And I want cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, Eloy gets cotton candy. I want what cotton candy. I've been hearing hey, all about. Get him cotton candy. <laughs> make, make Steve bring it. I hear good things about Steve. <laughs> this is a picture of my friend Strong. Ned, he is not like, allowed to bet here ever again. Ned, Nedra's just like, do I get cotton candy too? And Nedra gets cotton candy. I like this guy. <laughs> and we'll stop there. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a time. hell of a fight. Holy yeah, shit. Holy crap. Those nat. Tw I am not fucking with you. This thing is magic. <laughs> That's a 14. No, don't use up the good rolls. <laughs> That's another 14. We're trapped in 14. 17. 12. 
11. I mean, all of these are above 10. I am so happy now because we have actually finally gotten to all the NPCs I wanted everyone to meet. All right. At least ones that you could try to recruit. <laughs> all of our recruitable party members have appeared. Yep. Oh, We've well. already made a good impression on Nedra, at least. Yep. <laughs> so uh, how do you feel about Nedra as a character? The instant you said nine foot tall and hulking and she likes to use fisticuffs, I'm like, I'm fighting a fucking barbarian, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's literally the like the two unarmored classes clashing. Yep. Except she had armor. <laughs> Heavy armor. Yeah, she's wearing plate mail. That's why when it took her all that time to get over to you, that was with a bonus action just to dash. Yeah. I am so fucking glad that I had patient defense because... Yeah, that that statue ass. would have murdered me. <laughs> I would have lost, like, probably two rounds later if I hadn't had patience. I defense. think Third Day was kind of hoping that would happen. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Fuck him, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real curious how this would have played out if he had lost. Like, how, how that would have changed the dynamic. The Ned statue, it, like, there's no way for statue Ned not to Nedra deal would have still, damage. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give it to you this way. Nedra would have still won and took him into the other room. It's just that he would have had to make his questions count. Yeah. <laughs> Bargaining would have been a bit harder. Yes. And I wouldn't have been able to get you guys in, probably. <laughs> and I wouldn't be 9,000 gold richer. <laughs> <laughs> and Scrung wouldn't have lost his money. <laughs> oh, man. That's Scrung his Scrung would have been 9,000. No. I'm sorry, I got that yeah, wrong. His, his Scrung uh, would have been. He would have won. He would have won his money. He back. would have been forty-five. He would have been forty-five hundred richer. Yeah. Well, too fucking bad, Scrung. <laughs> why do you guys want to shit on Scrung? Why does Scrung bet against me? I mean, I know why he bet against me, but <laughs> <laughs> for the same reason I didn't place a bet. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be mad at me when I win. No, I mean, he, he can be. But... Oh, he can be mad. He, he can be colored and pressed, but still be mad. I feel like Scrung is this entity who is begrudgingly come al coming along because he knows it's what's best for him. <laughs> but the second he gets an out, he'll leave, and I won't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, just like Scrung loves his gold, I loves me my bits. All Guys, right, let's, let's keep running these down. because yeah. We got, we got uh, 500 from Is House saying, God damn, that fight was shown in his hell. Everything's turning up Wake. I'm so happy I got to do that. I was just like, okay, I need Wake to have a shonen moment. <laughs> that was just like, ah! <laughs> We got 500 from Epam saying, this party seems to, to just trip over gold. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's, here's my thinking. I know you wouldn't just be giving us this gold for no reason. We're going to have to deck out a ship at some point. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you might you might be getting a good substantial amount of gold. But, but that's all going to be going towards ship. Something, yeah. yeah. We got a thousand bits from Fatal Foxtrot saying, Scrung justifies traveling with the group because they literally trip over gold with everything they do. You're gold <laughs> magnets. He hates you guys, but he loves gold. That's fair. <laughs> Lines of Nine dropping 500 bits saying, Death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> God damn it. TTA decoded with 1500 bits saying, Just popping in real quick to drop some bits for you guys because I had a good day and I want to pass on the happiness. Aww. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. TTA Thank you decoded. So much. Uh, and Zinth25 with 1,000 bits saying the nat 20s were amazing. And so, ap apropos, how hard do you think people are going to be shipping Wake and Nedra at this point? <laughs> About as much as people are shipping Wake and S Ziaka. <laughs> I want them to ship Timothy and Nedra. That's no, no, no. Opinion. Everybody knows it's Timothy X Eloy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. We also got uh, a whole bunch of subs. Uh, just concentrating on the ones with messages for a second. We got a 10 month from Wooden Barrel saying, just popping into resub. Caught this late, so can't watch now. Never mind, he can't hear me. Thanks, Wooden Barrel, if you <laughs> well, catch this you. on the archive. <laughs> Even though I, I think the end part stays on the archive, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We got uh, Zoa King with the six month sub saying, hit hard, fish dude. I did. <laughs> I hit way hard. Mm. <laughs> like, the, I, I, I hit unreasonably hard. <laughs> I hope you guys are like, at least happy with the fact that I'm trying to be like, okay, you're good at this, you're good at this, I want you guys to have your Every, spot. Everybody yeah. gets their no, place, I, and you're, yes. you're making it work You're, you're doing well. that very well. Yeah. Like, this was... And it's all feeling diegetic. Like, none of it feels like it's just coming out of nowhere. Yeah. Now, let me do the talking. You get in there and fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I do want to learn to fight a little better eventually, though. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be in the equipment. You, ha you have to be like the uh, like the uh, ambush guy. You have yeah. to be like sneaking around the side, taking pot shots at people with your crossbow. Yeah, zipping like, out. You'll be, you'll be doing more damage like that. I want to start learning how to throw my daggers because I think that would be real fun. <laughs> We also got an 11 I month ship sub. X dice tower. <laughs> I do too. That's a good ship. I like that. It's, it's literally a wonderful a ship. ship. <laughs> Rainia with the 11 month sub says 16. Yeah. <laughs> says thank you so much for the D&D streams. Cuz of you I managed to get my friends to do a D&D campaign soon with me. Nice. Hey, I love dope. that. I fucking love that. <laughs> this game is wonderful. It's it's easily the best tabletop game. Well, role playing in general. I don't care if you want to do Pathfinder, Starfinder, this I do not like the fantasy flight ones because they all have their own stupid dice, and I hate that. But mm. wait, you don't like uh, White Wolf stuff? I, I've never been a fan. Like, the my problem with fantasy flight is like they can't just use you know a D six, a D eight, a D ten. They need you to buy their own dice. Oh wow, really? Yeah, I because I tried to do a campaign of Edge of the Empire. Yeah, and I had to like. The stupid thing about that is they don't even get, like, when you buy the starter kit, they don't even give you enough dice to play a proper game. You have to go out and buy an additional booster pack of dice. Wow, that sounds... Yeah, Fantasy Flight is rough. I, I really... It, but they're the only one with the Star Wars license, so... Right. <laughs> anyway, sorry. No, Interrupted so... tangent. A lot of bad <laughs> Star Wars stuff going on right now. <laughs> got, EA rough got play. me in the mood. You got, you got <laughs> fucking Brian just shaking his head just like, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Rough you're day. a you're a Star Wars fan. You were you signed up for some pain with your pleasure with that <laughs> <Yeah>. fandom. <laughs> Looking forward to episode eight. Anyway, yep. we got a two month sub from Narek Valsen saying came in late, but loving what I'm seeing so far. And a five month from Curdy ninety two saying, God damn it, Grant, it was a, there was a Komodo dragon in there. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that, but. Oh, I really wish I could tell you <laughs> the about, plan with about that. The about the crab I can't right now. Don't, don't tell me <laughs> nope. what I missed. Well, so. it clearly understood me. <laughs> the, I mean, I spoke Aquan, granted, but yeah. it had intelligence enough to know what I was saying. <laughs> we haven't left yet. That's yeah, true. And we got uh, 500 bits, uh, a couple more bit drops from Duke X Dante saying, Love you guys. Hey, please don't kill King's Game on FMK if you... Think of it as psychological, not horror. It's real good. No, it's not. But you can find out whether oh. we kill it when that episode drops tomorrow, tomorrow. on Four Star Bento. And Look, we got you're, you're allowed to like whatever you want, but the opinions <laughs> of the hosts on that, show, on that show, they're final. Well, they are, unless there's a tie, in which case there is a mechanic for the audience to break a tie with an audience ah. poll, and that might be happening tomorrow Ooh. if you watch tomorrow's episode. Oh shit. Audience participation. Yeah. And speaking of audience participation, we got another thousand bits from Bad Wolf Prince saying, my wife and I really enjoy this stream. We love watching live. Can't wait for next time. And neither can we. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, actually, you know what? No, never mind. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. It's fine. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Now th this this is a highlight of my week. I love I love playing uh, D and D. Like role playing is one of my favorite things to do. So like when we get in here, sure it's great. We have an audience. We love we love <laughs> talking to you guys. We love interacting with you. I'm here for selfish reasons. <laughs> it's happy to just play D and D for a bit. Yeah. Uh, this is you got you got your. Uh, Veggie bunch there. Yep, and these all the pets. My, uh, my my multi NPC troop, if need be. <laughs> There's too many characters talking. All right, Mr. Orange will now play the voice of Zoraka, and uh, Mr. and and Miss Apple will now be the voice of Aunt Slow Green. Now, son, I tell you something. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just you keep say track. all the fucking artwork of Aunt Slow alone is just amazing. Aunt Slow's great. Like, I love all the fan art we get. The fan art is fantastic. I think at the beginning of these streams, it would probably behoove us just to load up a few on there just so we can show them off at the end, like, yeah. from this point forward. We'll probably work on that. Yeah, because yeah. I love showing them off in the recap videos, but there's just so much that we aren't able to because either we get too many covering one subject or there's just, like, something that, well, I kind of need to gloss over that in order to make the... Uh, Video flow. The, vid the right. video flow better. Yeah. But. Also, all the fucking Billy Punchy face artwork. Though, oh, yeah. It's still awesome. coming in. <laughs> Billy flows, man. Billy is <laughs> Billy flows, but he doesn't fucking exist in a fictional game. <laughs> he is fictional in he this is a fictional legend. <laughs> it's fiction within fiction. It's fucking double fiction. <laughs> He's alleged fiction. fiction. <laughs> <laughs> 
We saw his story. We we saw. We we lived his story. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of love for Nedra in the chat. Oh, I'm Nedra's so happy great. people love Nedra. Yeah, people oh, with a lot of great. love that childlike, innocent barbarian that just wants <laughs> smash. Yep. <laughs> Just want break things. No, she just want she she just want fight. She just want fight, and that's her deal. Her whole deal is if you could give her fight, she will be happy. I'm well, not I gave sure her fight. How I'll convince yeah, you, her to like me? <laughs> As someone who's not good in combat. You took a punch real good. I did, but I don't want to be doing that all the time. <laughs> that's gonna start adding. Ezra, up. I need validation. <laughs> <laughs> We're good friends. <laughs> Since everybody in fan art, for whatever reason, draws Ezra super short. Yeah, you think, are a halfling. I yeah, think I, they think you're a halfling when yeah, you're a half elf. I am a half elf. I'm not gonna say I'm like super tall, but I am like average height. <laughs> every every bit of fan art that includes Ezra is always like, oh, he's like you know four foot two, <laughs> but no, I, I'm just imagining him shipping with Metro, just like ha. Ah. <laughs> you're the you're about the you could, size. You could master blaster. <laughs> if, if you were the size, that would actually be If you were cool. the size that everyone thinks you were in fan art, you would be just a little bit above Skrung. <laughs> Yeah, if I was the size a lot of fan art has depicted me as, it would have been really hard for me to convince the Navy that I was part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be this little... Aren't you a little short for a naval man? <laughs> no! <laughs> baby legs! <laughs> <laughs> I like to sail because I can't swim. Don't worry, baby legs, I'm here. I'm regular legs. <laughs> I count on my small legs. I can't swim. Boy, did I sure learned a lesson today. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us here at the table. We're glad you like to spend your Tuesdays here with us, or if you're watching at home, whatever day of the week it is that you watch our archives available on youtube.com slash TFS gaming. Make sure to drop by the TFS Discord. And uh, speaking of, next week we'll have a different that's day. Right. Oh, we, yes, good call. Grant is heading home for the holidays, yes. so for the next couple of weeks we're going to have a slight inverse here. Next week, we will be on on Monday. This won't affect any of you watching the archive. You'll just be able to see it one day earlier. Uh, and the week he gets back, he gets back on Tuesday, so it will be on Wednesday, Wednesday. the week following. So I, we're next sorry, week, Monday. We're sorry for the confusion, yeah. but it's the holidays. Yeah, yeah. holidays yeah. are going to fuck this up. Uh, so the 20th and the 29th. Me, once Christmas rolls around, it's probably go we're probably going to be on like, like a, a couple little, of week break, yeah. but we're yeah. hoping to finish up the first chapter of our saga. I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm hoping I can at least, by the way this is going, it looks like we will be able to. I want to try and get the main story done before like Christmas. A, a it looks season like, finale. It looks like it's going to happen with enough time for us to do a little bit of side quest filler. Awesome. Cool. So, yeah, we're awesome. moving that way. Even if that means, like, you know, the day before we have to go, like, extra long or something like that, we will make sure that we get done on, like, before our Christmas break, which I believe Absolutely. will be on the... Uh, I'm heading out of town on the 21st, so whatever month or Tuesday precedes that. Yeah, I'm going to be out that Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you all for joining us. If you want to, you know, join the discussion on Discord, feel free to hit us up. Uh, we have a Team Four Star Discord. You can find it either in the link on this video or in the chat. I'm sure uh, Nightbot has a command there. Thank you so much for joining us at the table, and we'll see you guys next time. Woo!